Hello, welcome everybody. This is Sirkon from Hojushi, and today we're gonna play uh, Honkai Star Rail. So, we're gonna uh, check out the um, the new companion companionship uh, stuff. But before that, since Locha uh, or the new banner is out, we're gonna try to pull for Yukong at least. Uh, I need Yukong. <laughs> I need an imaginary. I, I I can't sit and wait for wealth forever, so <laughs> we're gonna do this. Um, hey, last rights, welcome to this. I don't think I've um, borrowed uh, someone from you today, but I'll, I'll see if I'll need. It. What? Okay, so without further ado, stop the music <clears throat> and go to this screen. There you go. Hey. It feels small. Oh well. I'm gonna... I'm gonna burn some of these first. Trailblaze power. And I'm gonna need something for my light cones. Uh, this one in particular. Yeah. Okay. How um, how are you guys? Hope you're all good. Is it is it too low? Too slow. Hmm. Actually, it feels small too. Hold on. It's for some reason my uh my game started like um pulling up in like big uh, in like a full screen mode for some reason. I think this is better for me at least. But searching this one there I think. All right. Do this one. Six. Um. Let's get Vanya over here. Oh yeah. Okay. She, so she's good now. Just need. The which I can definitely provide. Alright. Okay. And I believe I don't I can't level her up that much. Oh. Nice. Okay. Alright, let's get uh by low up in here. And Bring you in. Okay. Go. <clears throat> Lend me your strength. Conflict is pitiless. <laughs> Show no mercy. You don't look so good. Hiya! Lands at the ready. Da -da. Aww. You can get run, yeah? She's in standard, so there's still hope. And you can. Lance um, ablaze. You can. Like, ask for her. Uh, did you already Lance. get your, like, 300 Forward. wishes? For the standard? Lend me your strength! Here, the thunder! It's time. Yeah. Not a scratch. There's always a weakness. Uh, We've entered the storm. There you go. To guard Not and defend. defend. Crush, Crush them. them. Conflict is pitiless. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength. 
Hear the thunder! <laughs> Ranya's Show really no good mercy. too, so uh, yeah, you can ask for her if you get Let if you your um, you're not you haven't uh, reached these 300 wishes yet. Yes. Lance ablaze! Lance! Forward! There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength! There's no time conflict. It's pitiless! <laughs> this battle is unavoidable. <laughs> a foregone conclusion. Boom. You'll pay for this. Lend me your strength! We've entered the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! Follow my charge. Here, this thunder! Need a doctor? It's time. Nah, no, it's not yet time. Oh <laughs> uh, my friends no got mercy. the war chance. Really? Well, it was bad witness. men. <laughs> I don't think I'll get Luocha either. Because I've no been lucky with Jingyuan and uh, Silver Wolf. <laughs> My luck has uh, like. It's like a deposit thing. <laughs> if you're not lucky this time, then you'll be lucky this time for sure. Lend me your strength! Make sure to save them up. Conflict is pitiless! Need a doctor? Like my luck yeah. bank. I'm troublesome. It's time. Yet? It's not yet time, it's fine. Lance ablaze! Lance! Forward! Oh. Lend me your strength! Follow We've my charge. The storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! There's no time to lose. Hear the thunder! thunder. Yay! So, I think my naivety one. No. Oh, wait. I can. I can make it. One. So, so I have a million. That's good. A million credits. Uh, I forgot that Lucha is on the second banner. <laughs> hey, Sunny, welcome to the stream. Um, yeah, uh, to be honest, with all the banners going on, sometimes I forget who is, who will be next. Uh, not just uh, uh, Honkai, Star Rail, also uh, Genshin. <laughs> so, I think I need to farm for the. Um, the condensed ether. No. Let's uh go get some condensed ether, shall we? Hey, six. Mm. Oh. Kill. Uh kill is not here, but kill uh let me borrow your yenching, okay? Um, go. Thought the game was gonna update, so I waited. <laughs> Aw, that's fine. Strike with heart. There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength. Time for sword play. Sword play. Ooh. Need a doctor? Yeah. Hit. How many can you block? Huh. Oh. Help me! Let me tend your wounds! Finally! Ooh, run. Your assistance is timely. Duh. Time for sword play! <laughs> Swords descend! Oh, crit damage boost. <laughs> I see. So he's... Strike with heart! There's always a weakness. He's... oh, no, he's done. 
blade and fight! Ooh, 21k. Don't pay for this. I don't think my characters are built <sighs> that bad yet. We've entered the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! I think the highest. I'm on guard. Someone got to was a silver wolf on 9k, and that's it. Yet? Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! I don't know about the total damage though, because uh Um, my genuine doesn't hit really hard, but he hit a lot of times. Lend me your strength. <laughs> Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength. Time for sword play. Ha! Lance at the ready. Oh. Blade and fight! There's always a weak. Lend me your strength. Need a doctor? Help me! Having the Ronya is such a cheat. How too. many can you block? It's not mine. It's skill. It's 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 a uh, support. It, it's not. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a Yanqing. <laughs> I don't have a Yanqing. It's skill. Um, kill is one of our yeah, regular. The sword is like water. It cannot remain still. Okay. The okay. Part. There's always a weakness. Crisis is all swords descend. <laughs> <laughs> We've entered the storm. To guard and defend! Crush them! Time for sword play! Ah! Oh, Lance a blaze! Lance! Forward! How many can you block? Blade and fight! There's always a weakness. <laughs> no, no, it's fine. <laughs> Lend me your strength! Time for sword play! Strike with heart! And yeah, Yan Chang is... So good. Looks really good. <laughs> But I want guard. a different, um... Hit. Ice boy. <laughs> this battle is unavoidable. Practice is over. Swords descend! <laughs> I think that's one of the best things in this game. Like, you can borrow another person's character. And, of course, they're gonna... Like... What do you call that? Um, bloat? <laughs> bloat, uh, like, um, they're gonna parade their best character, so... Yeah. Too bad that they cannot be with us, though. The one that I'm parading is uh, Bailu. Simply because I, uh, people need... People need some... Medical help. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> She's a defibrillator, so, uh, yeah. Oh... Uh, what? Hmm... Okay, so I can do this. So... Uh... Maybe a bit of these. So let's go to the snow plains. Alright. Do this. Actually, you can only do three. Three rounds. <laughs> um. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's do this one. Time for a fun. <laughs> no more playing nice. <laughs> That'll take more than that time. Lands at the ready. <laughs> Not a scratch. <sighs> Let me 
through. Dodge this! Take this! Rise, beat it! The best character build is Hook. <laughs> um... Yeah, I think Hook is, uh, is good when you build, build her, but, but it's just that... I do have my hook, <laughs> and they're... Not a scratch. I think she has a lot of Eidolons already. But the thing this is... Combat me. <laughs> this is double speed. I just... Like some other characters some more. Their gameplay more. You're not going anywhere. You took the bait. Destruction is kind of the we uh, like not my favorite path at the moment. You got seven thousand credits left. <laughs> oh my gosh. You you I've got um, a way to get to. Let's finish this. So you uh, leveled a lot of characters, huh? Time for a buzz. <laughs> time for a shot. <laughs> it's time. Yes. <laughs> I'm okay. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Dodge this! <gasps> Nap time. And last one. Take this! Set rise! Beat it! Zero XD books left. Yeah, well, we need to grind then. I'm grinding Dodge for XD this! books too. Huh. More enemies. Time for a buzz. <laughs> Naughty child. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Don't your hands hurt? <laughs> Just a little something. Think nothing of it. Wanna see what I can do? <laughs> Time for a buzz. <laughs> time for a shot. Oh, physical, huh? Nap time. There you go. Alright, alright. So... Uh, um... Let's... We're gonna pull. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hope for you, Kong. Um... So, I believe... Which I hear on a chill base hard work on... needs hard rest. You should, um, did you level up their uh, traces first? I think it's more recommended to level up the traces before the relics. But if you got the traces already, then that's fine. Okay, hello, Yukong. So, let's try this. I think I only have like ten pull. That's it. You come, please. <laughs> Hello. God damn it. I mean, I love Bella, but I, I want an imaginary character. Damn. Zilla, Zilla Almax, Silver Wolf, 1, 8, 9, 10. Oh, I see. That's good. God oh, damn it. Bella. Oh, E5. She's gonna be like my sucrose, like. The first one that I see six. Hey, child, welcome to the stream. Damn it. I don't have any more. I'll have to wait till July. Which is like two days from now. Right. Just wanted an imaginary character, bro. Um, okay. Let me try this one. Just one pull. Okay. 
Blue. Yep. Blue. Okay. Fine. Who we'll start this? Um. Let's have. Is there an agility yet in Shinju Lofu? No one, huh? At least I don't have them. <laughs> I'll put Jin Chue here. Yeah, it will do. Alright, start this. Uh. I don't know which one is Yanqing's. I think. Let's see. Oh. Thank you for using my Bailu. Um. Not this one. Messages. The Hall. Realm Keeping Commission. Night Stranger. Okay. I'm suspecting that this. It's probably Yukong's. I'm not sure. Wait, who has new stuff? Oh. Yeah, it's probably Yanqing's? No, it's Frosty Blade's Trial. It's a Night Stranger, so it's... This one is Locha. Okay, maybe I'll try Locha. Hello, D-Team. Uh, meow meow meow. <laughs> Clearly, you're meowing up in the wrong tree. Uh, find someone who can understand. Speaking of someone who can understand the things, whoops, you immediately think of. Oh, yeah, March. Uh, she does understand them. Yeah. That's right, she's the one. A woo? <laughs> Let's go bring it to March step. Frosty. Wait. This. Wait. <laughs> oh. Well, I got lucky. Uh, we need to find, um, we need to find March, so, Bossy Blades try. Oh, March is over there, okay. Let's go, the team. March, please translate. Everything okay? March, can you help me translate something? Huh? Why is D-Ting talking to you? I should be the one getting messages from cute little animals. <laughs> uh... So you understand what it's... Um, I mean, this, is, this isn't the contest. Uh, you wouldn't understand. <laughs> All cute things in the world should share a mutual affinity. Want some new quests? Did you finish all of the companion quests already? Well... Too bad. <laughs> Look at- have you seen my quest uh, page? It's- it's filled to the brim. <laughs> the first time we met D-Ting was during the Kafka hunt. Mm -hmm. I could tell there was a mysterious connection between us. Whenever he barked, I understood what he wanted to say. Take the message he sent you. Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> Meaning, hello, dear. I found a strange thing at the port of Cloudford. 
You may want to come and have a look for yourself. Oh. Um. You got all that from a few woofs? Deeting can convey a lot of information with only a few sounds. Yours is empty. Uh, R.I.P. So what did Deeting find at the port? Come on, let's go check it out. Okay, let's go. Uh, port, okay. Go over here. Teleport. Teleport to the port. Mm -hmm. Little Deeting says he's been dutifully searching for clues all over the Sienjo. He notified us as soon as he found something strange. Oh. So what does he want us to take a look at? What is it? What is this? A bangle? Oh! A jade tracer lying on the ground. Its light green vein flashes out an Im image of a teenager in the air. This is Yang Xiang, retainer to General Jing Yuan. Yan Qiang? Or Yan Qiang? I'm in active pursuit of a fugitive. The situation is unpredictable and developing rapidly. So I've planted this jade tracer to record my whereabouts in case I lose contact. If anyone finds this tracer, please take it to the seat of divine foresight so the Cloud Knights have the necessary intel to act swiftly. What are you chasing? Ah, oh, so it's a recording device. Deeting must have heard its signal and called us over here to investigate. Mm. Hello, uh, Cynical Apple. How are you doing? Even the general's retainer is getting in on the, on the action? He looks about eight or nine years old! And he's already the general's retainer? The Sienjo really does have some child prodigies, huh? I'm sorry, he doesn't look eight or nine. How old this Hook then? The youngest I can go is twelve. Well... The youngest I can, <laughs> the youngest I can guess for Yanqing is twelve. Hmm, probably fourteen. Hey, Aiden, welcome to the stream. Hello, hello, welcome. Get comfy. Uh, given everything that's been happening on the Sian Show recently. I reckon the only fugitive worthy of a retainer's attention would be a Stellaron hunter. I wonder how he's getting along. I don't know. Fugitive? They're not... Mm, I guess they're still fugitives. Because they ran away. <laughs> they didn't get pardoned or anything. You got Yukong? Aww, I was hoping for Yukong, but I didn't get Yukong. Catch, though. Um... Slot. Oh, um, ice, wind, imaginary. I don't have imaginary. Ice. Uh. Oh shit. Um, I don't have imaginary, man. I'll have. Bella. Um, and then Rania probably. I recommended the. Uh... Oh. Um, Bella. And Kailas. Ready to do this mission? I see. Please don't spoil. Blade the tracking good entries. Traces run cold at Starskip Haven. Oh. I'll have to ask the Cloud Knights in the area if they saw anything. Yeah. Hmm. Ha. Hmm. I love it. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. 
Shift the balance. Hey. Captain, could you spare a moment? Yen Ching? Why are you all the way out here on the front lines? Shouldn't you be back at the seat of divine foresight? Get the water. The general already has a lot on his plate. As his retainer, it's my duty to share the burden. Nothing new to report, I assume? Correct. After this blade escaped from the shackling prison, he disappeared into thin air. I wonder if he's even still on the ship. I mean... Or perhaps he had no intention of escaping in the first place. He's still here, yeah. <sighs> what foul demons found their way across the stars to wreak havoc on the Lofu? That's why I'm here. To help the General eliminate those demons. <laughs> Is that so? I didn't receive any orders from the general. Um, uh, this is a covert operation. He's doing this on his own. Then shall we dispatch a few knights for this operation of yours? Uh, don't say something. Say something, I'm giving up on you. <laughs> I appreciate the gesture, but the fewer people who know about a covert operation, the better. Making a big show of it will only scare the snake deeper into the grass. A good hunter must operate alone. Hmm. Dispatch a few knights. Huh. How incapable does he think I am? I might be young now, but just you wait. No! I don't want to hear it. Yeah! Find clues. Oh, what's this? Writing on the slip. The heavens open for good fortune. The sun turns to a lucky spot. Receiving this slip is no small feat. Today you are in for good luck. The final sentence on this common divination slip was crossed out, and something else was scribbled there. If guests arrive from afar, thou shalt rush to their service. Fulfill their every wish and respect them with uttermost care. So to good to uh, to, to turn good fortune into ill fate from Liue. Rue Rue The Master Diviner is always boasting about her foresight. Didn't manage to foresee this disaster, did she? <laughs> Oh, what's this? Knight's patrol report. Um, prosperity. East Cloud Forge, Chen Shu, Steel 2, Dock, 5 p.m. The, the incident and all related documents have been checked. A total of 32 side cranes were deactivated. No members, uh, members of personnel were to be found, were found to be trapped. By Chang Sui. East Cloud for Chang Shu Steel 3 docked 5 30 p.m. Words of the evacuated persons that a suspected criminal has been sighted at Yuan, Sh Yuan, Yuan Shou docks. Um, I have dispatched three members of my unit to assess the situation. Steel 4, this is. Wait, no, this is a. Uh... Yeah, this is 7 p.m. Uh, the three teams dispatched have yet to return and cannot be contacted. Um, I have decided to put together another group to look for them. 7:30. I got to I got to where Ye lost, lost contact, and I saw saw the strange tree. Him. He, Ye, and everyone else are staked in, onto the branches of that thing. Uh, 745 that thing that thing with growing all over his body oh I read his dog tag he's from the Gallup unit how did he become something like that so he became Amara I cut him down he's climbing back to his feet again I need to I need to report everything to the seat of the divine foresight quickly well he won't cons con connect 
the blank in the logistics department probably took bribes. Recording ended. Oh. Oh, that's okay. Um, I'm doing fine. <laughs> I'm doing okay. Could be better. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by, though. Uh, you skipped everything. Oh, I see. Well, the lore is interesting, and the um. Uh, I know that uh, the, the, the writers like put a lot of effort on the lore, so that's why I don't really want to skip a lot. Oh yeah. The perimeter is well guarded, but there are no traces of the fugitive passing through. It seems he has no intention of leaving the Lafu for the time being. Mm -hmm. And through lore and story, that's how you get to know the characters more and you appreciate the characters more that you're playing. So yeah. Uh, oh, Cycrane. Yeah! Bye. I don't want to give spoilers, that's why I skip anything. Oh, okay. Well. Uh, that's kind of smart. <laughs> oh, it's broken. The wings are broken. If the Psycrane hadn't been damaged, we could have extracted some footage. <sighs> that's no longer an option. Stu Stack Plains Line Cub Collector's Edition. 22 Beyond the Dust. Uh, one large commercial vessel from the Whistling Flames Guild. The vessel has already been found. The two combat escorts vessel from the Celestial Guild. The Skybreaker, uh, an ambassador vessel from the Interastral uh, Peace Corporation, collided with the guide lanes of the Palace of Astrum due to logistic issues. Um, financial losses are to be calculated separately. The Visage of Clipos, uh, a commercial logistic vessel from the International Peace Corporation. This vessel has already been found. Okay. The Roaring Tide Ambassador Vessel from the Sea People of Tal Thalassa. These amphibian frogs put 60 cases of vicious carnivorous tetras in the ship. Residents of the Drifter's Sanctum reported to the Realm Keeping Commission's uh, weather pavilion that it started to rain at, at about noon. Uh, and 12 locals were injured due to this. Uh, I can't thank you enough, Outward, of, outward of Buddies. We at the Realm Keeping Commission do this for a living. Damages? Footnote. Damages relating to Cloud Knight fighter jets have already been submitted. That report currently cannot be viewed due to the Secrecy Act and related regulations. We submit a viewing application to the document office of the Palace of Astrum and wait for their reply. Oh, I see. Okay. The Skyfaring okay, Commission really made a mess of this. Who knows if we'll ever find all these missing ships? Starskips are blocked from entering or exiting. There's no way the fugitive got through. But if he fled toward the interior of the ship, it'll be hard to track him down over such a vast area. Hmm, a fugitive would still have to rely on Starskips to travel between different delves. If we start by investigating the Starskip he stole, maybe we can get a lead! Maybe. He's back to the docks again. Back to the docks, and... Oh, it's blocked. I think. It looks like the influence of the Stellaron spirits is growing. Oh, I have to fight this guy. Oops. Play. Strike with heart. We have the upper hand. Uh, 
A. Lend me your strength. Pay for that. There you go. Yeah. What's this? Playing dead? What a childish trick. Is it really playing dead? The stiff remains started trembling with a sudden anger out of its from its hollowed eyes. Oh. Enemy data signet markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. Lance ablaze. Lance! Forward! Blade and fight! Ready for another? <laughs> oh. Poor Okay, so I have to do this. Okay. Oh, that's a lot What's of this. A lot of this bodies. kind of wound is not the work of a cloud knight. The best prey is one that leaves traces. Here, Ting, let's follow the scent. Thanks. Oh! <gasps> Civilians are still getting attacked? Where are the Cloud Knights? Is this Jing Liu? Jing Liu? Hey! Don't panic! I'll get you out of there! Yeah, that's Jing Liu. How many can we you enter the storm? To guard She's and not defend. dead. Crush them! Strike with heart! We have the upper hand! <laughs> this battle is unavoidable. Lend me your strength. Time for sword play. Blade and fight. Practice is over. Swords descend. <laughs> How many can you block? <laughs> Enemy targets detected. <gasps> You'll Enemy pay for this. Net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. There's always a weak. <gasps> I'm on guard. <laughs> there you go. Huh? They were on their feet a second ago. Oh. So Yanqing did not really fight them. Hmm. Thank you for your assistance, young man. Ooh. Uh, it's, um, uh, uh, what's her name? Lee and Lee. Uh, uh, Amelie. Amanda Lee. Eek. I've been, I've been her, uh, I've been subscribed to her for so long. Just doing my job. The port has been sealed off. Why are you here alone? Oh, I thought that was a hole. It was uh, a mirror. Oh. That's cool. It's like a rotating moon. Uh, like the moon going through the cycles. Uh, that's okay. That's okay. You can uh, play while you have in the background. I came with a merchant ship. The shadows of old friends have returned to my thoughts of late. I came to reunite with them and relive old times. Who would have imagined the Lofu could become such a dangerous place? You chose a bad time to visit, I'm afraid. There's been an incident. It won't take long for the General to fix it, though. This place isn't safe. We should head to the nearest Cloud Knight garrison. Mm. By the way, did you see a man with long hair and black clothes around here? She looks so cool! You... you can't see? I... Uh. Apologies, I thought... <sighs> My name is Yun Ching. I'm registered with the Cloud Knights. And your name is? Mm, 
What's the plot so far? Um, this is a side quest. Uh, so you're seeing it that like first time. <laughs> so um, this young man is like the apprentice to Jingyuan, which is like one of the biggest generals of this whole ship. Uh, this ship is uh, like like one of the fleets. It's it's kind of hard to uh, uh, explain everything <laughs> from here. <laughs> uh, you can watch a previous. Uh, <laughs> you can watch a previous Honkai Star Rail uh, 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 live streams if you're really curious. They're like uh, around four, three to four, um, three to four. Uh, hours each though for the live streams. Jing Liu. Jing Liu. Nice to meet you. Um, Miss Jing Liu, allow me to lead the way. We might have to take a bit of a detour, but I promise to get you to the Cloud Knight safely. Mm -hmm. Where exactly are we headed, young man? To the docks. Don't worry, you'll be safe. Oh, where did you come from? So, are you from one of the other Sienjo ships? The Yaoqiang? The Fanghu? I'm from the Songchang. The Songchang? There's a ship called the Songchang? Why mm. haven't I heard of it? <laughs> how long has she been away? Miss Jing Liu, how long has it been since you last set foot on the La Fu? Are you always this talkative? No. Uh, just making conversation. I wanted you to know I was still here. <laughs> get going. Let's get going, miss. Careful. Take your time. Oh. Body's on the way. Um, Yan Ching doesn't want to step over them. That's valid. Oh. Hmm. Where do we go from here? Shh, quiet. We've got trouble to deal with first. Wait here a moment, miss. I'll be right back. One for a second, okay? Don't move. Who's that the wind? No one, no one. What was that? <gasps> Shift the balance. Who's that the wind? Oh, I can change. I see. Who are you and what are you doing here? You've come at the perfect time, Warwick. You can use your blood to irrigate the celestial traces. A little one? The little, little one. one is about to teach you a big lesson. Uh. Yet? Time for sword to strike with heart. Ready for another? Troublesome. Oh. Where did these guys come from? Huh, the general was right. There's a threat lurking on the Sienjo itself. You are quite the sword master, young man. Well, funny you say that. His master was your, um... <laughs> was your student. <laughs> uh, you... you saw that? I heard it. A sword whistles through the air, and rings out upon contacting the enemy. Whilst invisible to the eye, such signals reveal the quality of one's swordplay. As a musician listens to the notes of a song, so a poet listens to its rhyme. And in the flow of combat, a skilled swordmaster delivers both with their blade. I'll wager the Cloud Knights capable of wielding six flying swords at a time. Number few, indeed. Hmm. Uh, <laughs> thanks, miss. However, your zealousness inhibits your ability to hide <laughs> your line of attack. Oh. Uh huh? Which causes your sword's song to become somewhat mumbled at the end. I guess the connection between music and swordplay is real after all. The general told me something similar. He said- Oh, sorry. Sword champion. 
if I recall correctly. That title is bestowed on one who reaches the pinnacle of swordsmanship in the Cloud Knights. <laughs> but that was a long time ago. Was it being you? Right! Ever since the sedition of Imbibator Lune, the title of Sword Champion has gone unclaimed. But once everything settles down and the combat art ceremony returns, it's a title I'm determined to win. The Cloud Knights have many martial arts traditions. Who was it that instructed you in swordplay, young man? Mm -hmm. I see you're no stranger to the art. I won't keep you in suspense. My master is none other than General Jing Yuan of the Wa Fu. General? Mm -hmm. I know you haven't visited for a long time, but surely you've heard of General Jing Yuan. He says he has no affinity with the sword, that his skills are getting rusty. Well, if that's true, I never noticed from his training. Hmm. Did he not pick up a sword after the incident? And just use the freaking polearm? Alright, the coast is clear. Let's keep moving. Yellow Milk Vetch. The Master Pri Primus had ordered all the disciples to head to one specific self and guide the mystical roots to grow and thrive. However, we were shocked to learn uh, the disciple Rose Mallow, who was responsible for the Chen Shu uh, rocks uh, at the Cloud Ford, had perished under the hands of various outworlders. Before immense duties, one ought to put aside personal vengeance. You shall now take over Rosemel's task. Remember, do not disappoint me, Master Primus. Old Prothos. Sheesh, all these, uh... Code words. Code names. The Starskiff Voyage Log can be accessed through the Dock Navigator Array. Well... Mm, I guess it does. It does have a few, yeah. There are a, uh, a few, um... Uh, there are a few uh, husbandos as well. Oh, not there? Okay. Not that one. So it can't go through here. I haven't had that kind of uh, puzzle before. <laughs> oh. Um. Oh, so it's supposed to go here. Okay. Go. Uh, active star skiff, active star skiff. Uh, there! This one goes past the Divination Commission and the Artisanship Commission. Oh. Traffic records? I did not coordinate. There's two that passed by at seven in the morning. Well, my work here is finished. Now to make sure you get to a safe destination. Given the present circumstances, the Cloud Knight garrison probably isn't a safe destination. Wouldn't you say? Mm. Correct. So we're not going there. I'm taking you to the Shackling Prison. Safe, well-guarded, plenty of food, and a place to sleep. A prison? Young man, if you wish to apprehend someone, shouldn't you have a reason? 
<laughs> Suspicious behavior and half-truths. Those alone are reason enough. You think you can fool me just because I'm a child? <laughs> a sealed-off port with a stranded passenger? Unlikely. Not to mention you walking the whole way here without so much as a stumble. You can see as well as I can. Hmm. The biggest giveaway was your comment about my sword play. Correctly guessing the number of swords from the sound alone? <laughs> You'd have to be more than human. You're not blind at all, are you? Nope. I never claimed to be. You came up with that yourself. You didn't correct him, though. Uh... Fear not, young man. I hold no grievance against you, and have never held ill intent towards the Sienjo. The black veil covering my eyes is merely proof of my resolve to never look back. To never fall again into Mara and destruction. Mm. I came here to catch one person. It's quite fortunate that our paths have crossed. The one you're looking for... Is it... Blade? Is it? He goes by Blade nowadays. A fitting name for someone who dedicated his mind and body to the ways of the sword. Hmm. Take me to him, young man. So Jing... Oh, alright, I remember. Jing Yu does know Blade. Uh-huh. You are no match for me, and therefore... No match for Blade, either. Let me accompany you. There is no need to throw your life away. <laughs> We've not even drawn swords yet, and you declare yourself the winner? Let me offer you a word of advice. Don't underestimate me. I don't know, Yan Ching. This is your master's master, so, uh... <laughs> I was hoping to avoid a conflict with the Cloud Knights. How about this? Let's have ourselves a little contest. We can use the abominations that have infested the Lofu as target practice. Mm. And see whose sword can slay more and slay faster. And if I win? Then I will obediently follow you to the Shackling Prison and receive whatever judgment awaits me there. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll keep my end of the bargain. Nah, she's confident that she'll win. <laughs> but if I win, you have to share Blade's whereabouts with me. Fair enough? A Cloud Knight never gambles with official business. But in any case, you won't beat me. <laughs> <laughs> I admire your confidence. But what was it you said earlier about declaring a winner before swords were drawn? Hmm... It would seem we've cleared every abomination from the area. Let's find another location and continue our contest. Hey, okay, fine. The two journey together before coming to May a stop. May the best swordmaster win. Yeah, it is a gotcha game, but it's not really, you know... You can ignore the gotcha uh, part. <laughs> This place is brimming with Mara, the perfect environment for honing one's skills. Surely slaying abominations doesn't count as gambling with official business? Nope. How do we tell who's won? We go from here to the end of the path without leaving a speck of abomination behind us. The first one to the end wins. Oh, deal. Lead the way. What if you're just using this as a chance to escape? <laughs> Jing Yuan trained you, all right. <laughs> Shift the balance. Who's that? Door? Yeah. Show oh. me what you got. Come and get you To guard and defend. Crush them. Time for sword play. Blade and flight. Ah. We have the upper hand. <laughs> Enemy data secure net markers activated. Time for a good old counterattack. There's always a weakness. Lend me your strength. Strike with heart. Practice is over. 
swords descend! <laughs> I'm on guard. There you go. Where did she go? Uh oh. Or did she already get ahead? We're still. still wanted. I. I didn't even see you overtake me! Too slow, young man. <laughs> yeah, I think she will, um. won't check but us. How is that possible? What kept you this time? <laughs> You'll need to work harder. Otherwise, you won't even catch me in a star sky. I haven't had this much fun in a long time. Oh boy. Uh, uh? A long time has passed since I wielded this sword. The heat of combat nearly cast me into the darkness. Come, young man. I'll let you finish up. I'll let you make three moves. Three moves? Draw your sword. Ooh. Don't you know it's rude to keep an elder waiting? Elder. Three moves? Um... Jing Liu, uh, uh, ice. She's ice. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's... that's cute. She's very, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, she's always, um, her design is very. What do you call that? Inspired by the moon. <laughs> Three moves, huh? Strike with heart. hesitant, weak. No. What happened to that confidence of yours? My turn. Once you draw your sword, you must strike down your adversary in one blow without turning back. Mm. Blade in flight! Oh, that's three moves. Jim Yuan taught you how to slay abominations. But did he ever teach you how to deal with the Mara Struck? The answer is, there is no difference. The sword pierces the body and severs its life. If this sword came for your throat, would you be able to deflect it? Did you think this swordplay was just a game of victory and defeat? Future sword champion. Oh boy. The voice acting. Strike with heart! <laughs> Emily did great. Swords descend! <laughs> <laughs> The first, the last, um, she had the last strike. Your final move was the only one that didn't disappoint. Oh, I, I lost. Yeah, our contest has not yet come to a conclusion. For I have yet to make my final move, and the field has no opponent. Hmm. Unsheathing this sword without merit is to blaspheme the divine will of the Rainbow Arbiter, and invite calamity. Oh boy. You... 
Even with your strength. If you were to cross paths with Blade, it would mean death for you. I can give you a more dignified end than dying at his hands. To die as a swordmaster, having witnessed the perfection of my technique, refined a thousand times over. What say you to that, young man? Oh my gosh. <sighs> I refuse. <laughs> you have courage. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Cut in between. But... I... I deflected it? I'll take those records you found. Thank you, young man. No, wait. That move was a token of my appreciation. We were fated to meet this day, and in days to come. Ugh. This mysterious woman also wants to find the whereabouts of Blade. No. No, no matter what she wants to do with the fugitive, she must not be allowed to get to him first. I have to pick up the pace. Oh, the record, record checking. Oof. And that's... the end? There's nothing else in the operations log? Sheesh. This, this is not a story. Kylus. This is what really happened. It isn't like a good cliffhanger. Uh, that Jing Liu seems pretty dangerous. <sighs> the Stellaron Crisis sure has attracted a lot of strange people to the Law Fu. Shouldn't we hand this over to Ching Yuan as soon as possible? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Made a tree. Go here. It's getting late. Where to now? Go to the scene, heat of divine foresight. Genuine? Oh, he's still not showing himself like in person to us. Genuine. Genuine's apparition turned to you. You're not sure whether this is some kind of an automatic audio visual answering technique or real time emote material legion from himself. We found something left behind by Yanqing. Jingyuan's hologram waves. Um, the jade tracer emits a beam of light as the illusionary vi figure flickers. Without a doubt. This jade tracer belongs to Yanqing. I can't thank you enough. Oh. Who is Jingyu? You already accessed the recordings? Yeah. Uh, he accidentally pressed a button. <laughs> no harm done. She was my mentor and my superior when I was a member of the Cloud Knights. However, she left the Sienjo a long time ago. Hmm. Ding Yuan was silent for a while. If you see her, be sure to keep your distance and notify me immediately. Okay. Um, is Yanqing safe? He took on the charge of pursuing a major criminal. It is not my place to impede him for fear of his well-being. That is the nature of the Cloud Knights and their duty. 
I do have confidence in him, though. That's good. How about Blade? <sighs> Forgive me, but I cannot disclose this information. Oh. I, uh, I don't have any other questions. Thank you again for your help, friends from the Express. The situation remains unpredictable, so take care. I hope to be able to drink and talk freely with you once again, when everything is settled. Oh. I don't think Yanqing is safe right now. Is this really done? I'm not sure. Master among swords. Is that really the end of it? Eesh. Costume trial. Huh. That was quick. Hmm. Okay. Well, Yanqing's part might have, like, might be continued in the uh, story mode, or it might continue in the second part of the uh, quest. Oh well, um, Night Stranger. Oh, here? <laughs> Drop. Hi, the hall. Oh! Well, I'm here to help with the investigation. Oh, so you are. And these would be... Miss March 7th and Mr. Yang, I presume. Yep. <laughs> That's right. I'm the first one. He's the second. <laughs> We're here to help. Right. March, try not to sound too excited. We're here for work, remember? <laughs> oh, you're the one getting excited. <sighs> my first detective case. Finally, my intelligence and wisdom have a chance to shine. <laughs> Miss March, Mr. Yang. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Make yourselves comfortable. It, one moment, please. Jin Yan! Give me the phone! <sighs> coming, coming! Stop yelling! Sheesh. <sighs> Thanks for waiting. These are the outworld uh, travelers who were sighted in the location specified by the general and the master diviner. This was two days before the Ambrosial Arbor came back to life. Oh. Oh. We'd like you to take a look. Do you recognize any of them as a threat? Let me take a look. Hmm, so these are the suspects. Uh-huh. Hmm. I see. <laughs> Boat sees him. I think he saw Lucha. Oh. He recognizes him. Oh shit! Flashbacks. What's wrong, Mr. Yang? See anything fishy? Who's he? I'd like to see more information on him. Mm-hmm. Which one? L let me see. I guess uh, he does know that he is from this universe because he already saw Himiko. Himiko is from this universe too. Um, is one of them a threat? I don't have any concrete evidence, but I think he's worth checking out. Who's the other one? Oh, him? I remember him. He's a traveling merchant. He trades throughout the universe. Knows a thing or two about remedial arts, too. 
He registered himself on the Xianzhou as... Uh, what was it again? Locha. Locha. His name is Locha. That's right, Locha. He came to the Xianzhou with a huge box this time. Some sort of funerary contraption. It had a funny name, something to do with coughing. Yeah, it was pretty conspicuous. I had to ask him about it. <laughs> a coffin. It's a tool that certain non Xianzhou travelers seem to use in death rites. I'm guessing our guests here might recognize it. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> I swear he said coughing. coughing. Anyway, we checked him out. His record on the Xianzhou was squeaky clean. As for this caffeine thing. Caffeine. Coffin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Either way, it definitely had something to do with funerals. There are lots of travelers on the Lafu, each with their own star system and death rites. Mm. I guess that must be Locha's line of work. Is there something up with him? Not necessarily, but I have my reasons for wanting to investigate. Mm -hmm. What was he doing in the days leading up to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection? Hmm. That's complicated. Come with me to the four square mirror. It'll be easier to explain. Okay. Exalting Sanctum is one of the Lafu's crucial central cities. The higher ups are very concerned about security issues here. That's why there are so many Psychrains stationed in the area. Lacha arrived on the Lafu a few days prior to the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Mm -hmm. Up until the day before the resurrection, there was nothing suspicious about his behavior. Oh, I figured it out! The day before the resurrection, he appeared near the Ambrosial Arbor with a Stellaron! Are you sure? The round keeping commission would have arrested them by now. Oh yeah, I guess. <laughs> You're pretty smart. Sometimes. <laughs> I smart all the time. <laughs> you lot are enthusiastic, I'll give you that. The reason I mentioned the day before the resurrection is because... We have no idea what he did that day. Huh. The resurrection brought about unusual yin-yang phenomena that caused the entire Psycrane system to malfunction. The image data from the day of the incident is beyond restoration. And the data from that day before was badly affected. Why don't you ask him? Alocha? We will, in due course. But we can't be too general. Specific questions are key. Not to mention, without a clear suspicion, it would involve multiple interrogations. Yeah. So, if you feel this Lacha is suspicious in some way, make it known. Then I can arrange for his detention and interrogation. Mm -hmm. How should I put this? He just looks kind of... Kind of what? Uh, Mr. Yang! You were going off of his appearance this whole time? I thought you had some super secret thing up your sleeve. Uh, didn't your mom ever tell you not to judge a book by its... Uh... <laughs> Kyla's... His appearance? He looks pretty handsome to me. <laughs> exactly! Huh? Well, wait, that's not the point! <laughs> Sorry, what I mean is... Hmm, it's difficult to explain, but my instinct tells me this Law Cha is involved somehow. Mm. Apologies, uh, I realize this is personal speculation. This personal speculation. That's all right. Instinct is an important part of any Realm Keeping Commission investigation. There are times when my gut tells me something's not right. And there's usually a reason for it. I'm with you on this one. Be that as it may, as an official, I can't go bringing someone in based on a villainous appearance. <laughs> villainous. Because if a complaint led to his dismissal, it would leave a blemish on his resume, making it difficult for him to advance his career for the next few centuries. Yeah. Precise. No! What are you talking about? <sighs> anyway. If you want to investigate, I can grant you access to the Foursquare Mirror. Jing Yan, you'll be assisting our esteemed guests in their investigation. Ugh, isn't it inappropriate for an officer of the Realm Keeping Commission to assist the public in investigating someone? Public? Ah, not at all. Make sure you don't leave the commission. Just 
help them check the site crane footage. Keep me updated on progress. If you find hard evidence, I'll be there in a flash. One thing, though. Don't approach him. If you make a discovery, contact me first. Okay. We're thankful that you're entrusting this to us. We'll keep it by the book. Don't worry. The Express crew keeps its promises. We won't disappoint you. Right. <sighs> Jingyan, over to you. I need to get going. Understood. This might take you some time. Come and find me when you're ready. Okay. Night Stranger. I owe you two an apology. My speculations have gotten us into a delicate situation. I'll treat you to some Sienjo delicacies later. I mean, I won't say no to that. Um... No big deal. We're all we're all in the same team together, after all. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. I did want to say something, though. Um, I don't think Mr. Yang is the kind of person to make a judgment based only on instinct. Uh, it's not really instinct if he knows his version from another universe. Hey, Irony, welcome to the stream. It's okay. You don't have to say. You don't. You didn't miss much. You miss a whole story arc, though, but that's fine. <laughs> it's fine. All you had to know is one child might be in danger, and this one, we're trying to investigate a sus person. Okay? <laughs> I think so, too. Mm hmm. It's not something I need to conceal from you. As you know, there are infinite worlds in this universe that can be similar yet different from each other in various ways. The same is true of the people on those worlds. People on those worlds. That's why it's possible for us to run into individuals on multiple worlds who share an appearance but not a personality mm -hmm. for all we know in some faraway world march's adorable face might belong to an intergalactic pirate <laughs> what an example Silence. however in most cases their fates will walk a similar course i've seen two people who looked almost identical to this law cha they were not of the virtuous persuasion. Two people? Whoa. Hmm. Wait, so even though their appearances are different, they might walk different, uh, the same paths? Should I be worried about Ayato? <laughs> I'm in danger. <laughs> Someone save him. That's why the moment I laid eyes on him, a chill ran down my spine. March is right. We shouldn't judge a book by its cover. But I can't overlook this. Um, Bukolia did walk uh, the same path, though. Um. Oh, boy. Wait, will Nahida die someday? Sheesh. Oh no. Will Himiko in this world die too? <laughs> no. I don't want to force you into trusting my judgment, but. What are you talking about? Of course we trust your judgment, Mr. Yang. Right? Uh. On the Express, we always trust our own. Of course! Crew members are always right! <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad you believe in me, truly. But the problem remains. Will the Realm Keeping Commission trust a judgment based on this logic? Mm. <clears throat> From a Sienjo legal standpoint, the Realm Keeping Commission is unable to accept a judgment like this. Nope. Oh. <laughs> 
It's not that we distrust you, Mr. Yang, but we cannot act on groundless accusations. Yeah. I hope you understand. Of course. We raised the accusation. We will carry the burden of proof. Yeah. Research record is trying to persuade. What do you think? Oh, we! We may be new to the Sienjo, but we're already investigating the mysterious disappearance of Luocha! Uh, you're in high spirits today. <laughs> yep! I always dreamed of a head scratcher like this! A chance to showcase my detective genius! Right. I've been familiarizing myself with the angler mystery lately. I think it's safe to say I have the best investigative mind on the express at this point. <laughs> the angler mystery? You have good taste, Miss March. The angler mystery is a classic detective novel on the Sienjo. I read it when I was young and dreamed about working in the commission ever since. I didn't think it would be attracting new readers over 200 years later. Oh my god. Oh, a fellow reader! But Miss Ching Yen, the author, Su Feng, was the lead medical assistant in an apothecary, and the main character, the angler, is a healer. Why didn't you want to join the Alchemy Commission instead? Uh, a number of reasons. This job may be trivial, but I have my reasons for being here. Mm. Plus, <laughs> the threshold for the Alchemy Commission was too difficult for me to reach. <laughs> oh, the requirements. Oh, I see. But your lives are so long. Shouldn't career change be easy? Mm, I considered it once. That was a long time ago. The longer I stay in this job, the more I understand its purpose. Fighting crime, helping the weak, solving the problems no one wants to touch. It's a satisfying feeling. I getcha. Wow. Good for you, Miss Qingyan. Sounds like you really care. Yeah. Tend to be an officer. <laughs> Okay. All right, I think ready. I can bring up the data any time from here. Are you ready? Ready? Let's do it. All right. Follow me. Jingyan takes everyone to Four Square Mirror and begins to retrieve the footage. As official Da Hao mentioned, the arbor caused unusual yin yang phenomena, which affected the entire Cycrine system. We lost a lot of video footage, and for the image data we recovered, the timestamps are all jumbled up. Look, this is Mr. Locha on the day prior to the resurrection. Huh? <sighs> so we have to clean up and reorder the footage ourselves? Yep. Exactly. Thank you again for your help. <laughs> uh, this is your forte. Over to you! Uh. My forte says who? Uh, hey, I said over to you. You can't back out now. Sheesh. Locha crossed the street to and turned to a strange corner. He looks dangerous there, but he didn't seem to care at all. He paced in with nothing but a sword in hand. Locha walked out a small inn without a heavy luggage. Locha spared uh, Locha walked into the spare time bookshop and stepped out after a while. He left nothing uh, and he left with nothing in hand, perhaps he didn't buy anything. Um, Locha is looking into the distance at the dock of Exalting Sanctum with the coffin at his side. Maybe he just left a star skiff. Maybe he is waiting for a new star skiff. He walked to along the dock for a while. And put aside his luggage, leaning on the railing, watching the star skills passing by the dock. Oh, what do you think? Any idea what the correct order is? Well... I think it's... Four... Then two, because he walked out somewhere that the... Uh, walked out of a building. I think it's uh, Let me first. see if this order works. Hmm, Wocha exits the star skiff, enters Exalting Sanctum, mm -hmm. goes into an inn, and puts down his luggage, including the coffin. Mm -hmm. Then he goes to Spare Time Bookshop, 
but doesn't buy anything. Finally, he leaves and turns a corner into a dark alley. Yep, yep. The logic in this is sound. Looks like the correct order. Nice work. Thank you, Dad. Uh, nice work indeed. Your sidekick <laughs> to a genius detective after all. If you're so genius, why didn't you solve it, huh? <laughs> Where does this corner lead to? Don't know. I checked the map and found a gate in this open area. Look, there's a small dock on the other side. He may have left on a star skiff. Possible? But... With Dun Hung, we know that he has the coffin with him, so... Why would he leave Exalting Sanctum via a secluded dock? That's so suspicious. So sus. I don't think Mr. Lorcha could have departed from there. The dock you're referring to is Yun Shou Crag 999. It belongs to the Seat of Divine Foresight. It's only used during invasions. That's why that gate is almost always locked. As far as I know, it's been locked for centuries and only gets opened for occasional inspections. Mm -hmm. The key question is, when did he leave? There's only one gate in this area, at least on the map. Miss Jingyan, does the remaining footage show anyone else entering or leaving this place? I can find out, but you'll have to wait a while. Most of the footage was lost, but at least there was a whole day of recording. There's a lot that needs checking and confirming first. Understood. Thank you. Mm. Thank you for your hard work. Thanks so much! We'll be waiting! Patiently. <laughs> your assistance in this matter is what requires gratitude. I'll get you what you need as soon as possible. Okay. Batuta. Old man are waiting for deportation. Are you okay? Oh, so there is someone still willing to chat with this old coffin dodger. Um, when old people get older, uh, they can catch pneumonia just by having a sip of water. My achy gauging your throat. Are you alright? <laughs> They've already given me meds, so I'm... I'll just rest and recover. What are you doing here? It... Is it really strange for criminals waiting for rep repatriation by the Skyfaring Commission to be waiting here? I am Batuta. I, re I used to be the, a judge and climp to the public. My side hustle was a travel writer. I just want to chat with you. <coughs> I thought people nowadays are just a bunch of heartless savages. Let's talk. Maybe you can learn something from my short life. Uh, what country did you come from? My homeland. The Klimt Republic. It's a great nation. <coughs> we have a vast territory and efficient government, honest officials, and upstanding people. The Klimt Republic was said to be made from nothing but Akavili the Trailblazer when they established the Star Rail, leading my ancestors under path of exile to their ever summer paradise. In gratitude for their kindness, my ancestors selected warriors and embarked on tra trailblazing expeditions to transform dead worlds into living ones. About a milestone has passed since its foundation. <coughs> We've already seen 17 star systems with the vast territory and rich products. That's why our nation needs someone like me, a judge. Many planets exist in the ecological environment, dif different from this one. And so, the Prime Minister and con Council, <clears throat> that is, our government, needs, ju needs judges like me to help ratif ratify the laws and regulations tailored to each one of the differ differing, differing local conditions. <clears throat> when I was 20, I graduated from this Royal Academy of Laws Becoming a doctor of law at 24, a year later, I passed the qualification examination to become a judge. I can still remember. The, the Prime Minister at the time, Madame Weisner, 
and awarding me my medal and encouraging me to dedicate my life to the people of the motherland, just like her. Ah, how energized I was back then. The moment Madame Weisner pla placed that medal on me, I felt like a carefree kid back then. Ah, never to be tired again. That fantasy of vitality was so strong that it was only 20 years ago when attending <sighs> the state of funeral of Madame, Ra of Wa Madame Weisner uh, that I realized for the first time that all this would happen to me one day. Too old to handle official duties, too weak to handle continual interstellar travel, I ultimately lie here helpless on a hospital bed. Desperately counting on all the things I should have done but didn't. All those people should have seen but hadn't. <laughs> that has a twist that has twisted me into a kind of person that I hated most. The kind who is loyal to their desires and gives no second thoughts to breaking the law. I should go. I'm sorry. Uh you'll be okay. Mm hmm. You go then. Don't waste your time here any longer with a criminal. Uh, it's okay, dude. I'll talk to you next time. Thanks for waiting. I checked all of the footage we have of the open area. They say all. A lot of it was lost. Oh. Are the corrupted parts recoverable? Can we use the same methods again? For some of them, maybe. But I can't guarantee anything. I'll do my best, of course. It'll take more time. I can't hand them over just now. Thank you. Did you find anything in the remaining footage worth paying attention to? Hmm. Only that someone left the area through that exit around two hours after Locha's appearance here. Locha's nowhere to be seen, though. Where are these people? Who is this child? Uh huh? Isn't this a scene from the Angler Mystery? What? The novel's gone to your head. <sighs> Shush! You're being annoying! I'm not kidding! This is straight out of the book! I mean... Now that you mention it... Uh, I'm not sure I follow. Uh-huh. Uh, the Angler's origin story, of course! He's a healer from the Alchemy Commission who gets on the wrong side of a mysterious organization called the Tea Society. Two agents in dark clothing wait for him to be alone and then poison him. Hmm. The drug has the same de-aging effect as the Vidyatara's hatching rebirth. The angler gets younger and turns back into a child. From there on out, the Angler pursues the Tea Society while solving all kinds of strange cases. <gasps> this is case closed. For Detective Conan. <laughs> the aging drug. <laughs> Pursuing Tea Society while solving all strange cases. Boy. Uh, why would a Tea Society be so vicious? <laughs> Their tea must be stronger than Himako's coffee. Yeah. Uh, the Tea Society is just a code name. Did you think they'd call themselves the Evil <laughs> Society? They have to have a nice sounding name to conceal themselves. Yeah. So, March, what you mean is, the two people in dark clothing are Tea Society agents, and the child is... a de-aged Locha? Kim... I'm a little girl, though. <gasps> what if a crazy angler mystery fan decided to commit a copycat crime? Luo Cha gets turned into a child, then follows a mysterious duo in black. Oh, the plot thickens. This could be a kidnapping. I mean... <sighs> the child in the footage has black hair. Yeah. Luo Cha's hair is blonde. Maybe he dyed his hair? <laughs> Although Tuocha might look blonde, but maybe he's just going gray with age. <laughs> True, their hair color is completely different. Hmm, maybe he dyed his hair. Hold your horses, everyone. 
I recognize this child now. That's Yinshu, the young shopkeeper at Spare Time Bookshop. Yeah. Too bad, March. No de aging, no angler. <laughs> and the child is a girl. Hmm. Remember Julian from back in Bellabog? Uh, no, no, this is completely different. How is it different? The Cycranes weren't able to get a clear look at the two people in dark clothing. Let's ask Inshu. Maybe she saw something. I'll keep trying to recover the lost footage. I'll contact you if there's a breakthrough. Okay. All right, let's go! Time to interview the witness! Yeah, witness. I don't think she's a witness, but okay. She might not be a witness. Maybe she... She was cloned. Drop by the Realm Keeping Commission if you need it. Oh wait. Oh wait. <laughs> I don't see the shopkeeper. Oh no. Uh, let's look for her in the area. Business hours aren't over yet. She should be nearby. You two go ahead. I'll wait here in case she comes back. Okay, let's go. Wait. So you're still reading traditional literature? Move on Investigate. Away on temporary business. Please come back later. Uh, looks like Yin Shu isn't here after all. Where could she be? This demonic, mysterious, treacherous. The Xi and Jill masterpiece records records of the supernatural on sale now. Huh? A supernatural tales anthology. <laughs> Sounds like a good bedtime read. Might stop me daring to run to the bathroom at night, though. <laughs> um, what's this? Hi, Yinshen. I have an errand to run. Um, please watch the store for me when I'm gone. Be back soon, Yinshu. Uh, so she asked someone to look after the shop for her. But where are they? Looks like they must have left, too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Yunshen. Uh, hey, mister! Are you manning the counter for the young shopkeeper of Spare Time Bookshop? Huh? <laughs> young shopkeeper? You mean Young Shu? <laughs> yeah, I am. Something wrong? Um, can you please tell us where she is? <laughs> Why should I? Uh, because we're asking nicely. What's with the attitude? I know, right? He's been scoffing at us. <laughs> I can tell you. If you pay me 500 strails. If ya. Yeah. <laughs> pay you? <laughs> what is this? You want paying for a simple favor? <laughs> Come on. No one ever tell you that information and intelligence are the most valuable commodities? Yeah, that's true. Uh, this guy doesn't seem like the negotiable type. What should we do? Um, we have no money, but we can pay you with a beatdown. Oh, you dare threaten me. <laughs> do you know who I am? The question is, do you know who we are? <laughs> we're from the Tea Society. <laughs> we're... <laughs> we're from the Tea Society. Oh, you mean like the one in that work of fiction? Who are you trying to kid? And who do you think were the inspiration for the Tea Society? Us, that's who. <laughs> Sounds like a pack of lies. Still, they don't seem like pushovers. <laughs> I love how, um... Well, just, uh, let us do this alone. Because he's somewhere else. We're just... Two of us are just being gremlins without our dad. Dang it! Am I in trouble? 
Ugh, better to live and find another day. Ugh, forget it. I'm not stooping to your level. Inchu said she had a voucher for a food stall over an exalting sanctum. She wanted to use it before it expired. You know, she's not been gone long. Probably finishing up her food right now. Hmm, about time you saw the light. Come on, let's go. Okay. Intimidating. Wait, so you're still. Oh, is that Inchi? Inchi Inchi? Hey, Are you Yinshu? The shopkeeper at Spare Time Bookshop? There's something we want to talk to you about. Yeah, that's me. Can I help you? You're heading back to the store, right? Let's walk and talk. I'll tell you all about it on the way. Oh, uh, okay. Let's go. Hmm. You return to the spare time bookshop. On the way over, you get Jinshu up to speed. That footage... I remember that day. After I closed up the store, I walked around for a while. I was looking for a place to read. Okay, so, um... It was her. <laughs> I found that empty area. It seemed like a good reading spot at first, but then I noticed two people dressed in dark clothing. And a blonde outworlder hanging around. Something didn't feel right. So I left. Those two people left the same way I did. So you just happened to be going the same way. Did you see what the Outworlder was doing? Mm, sorry. I was only trying to find a place to read. I didn't pay much attention to him. Or the two in dark clothing. I don't know. I would, I would uh, check what they're doing if they're like... In the corner, so like reading traditional it's the three of them. <laughs> All I remember is the two people in dark clothing. Uh, they smell pretty bad. Oh, I guess that's not much of a clue. Sorry, I can't give you any useful information. Oh, bad. On the contrary, any information you can give is valuable. Thank you very much. Still, according to the Psy Crane recordings. Rocha's final stop before heading towards the open area was your store. Mm. My store? Spare time bookshop? You're sure he came to... Oh, that's right. I remember now he did pay a visit. Oh, how could I forget? Mm, what did he do? He came in, looked at a few titles, and then handed one to me. An old paperback. Everything seemed normal, but after paying for it, he immediately oh. tore off the title page. I was shocked, but he was grinning ear to ear, so I didn't dare ask him about it. Whoa, that's suspicious. What the fuck? Creepy too. After that, he just left the book on the counter and went on his way. I can't believe I'd forget something like that. I guess the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection the day after pushed everything else to the back of my mind. Hmm. Oh, don't blame you then. So, what was the book? The Angler Mystery. Oh. I was wondering what to do about it. I can't sell a book without a title page. But uh, since you asked about it, here, you can have it. Angler Mystery. Uh, Mr. Yang's instinct was right all along. Locha is a villain. How can he do this? Tearing up a book <laughs> as well written as the Angler Mystery! <laughs> Unacceptable! That's your concern? Why did Lucha tear, tear out the title page? If I knew the answer to that, wouldn't that make me as evil as him? <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We're forgetting that the Realm Keeping Commission was initially investigating whether someone brought a dangerous object onto the Law Fu. The How and the others are probably not aware of what that dangerous object might be, but we know for a fact that it's the Stellaron. I think that by removing the page, Law Cha may have provided us with a key piece of the puzzle. Is? I don't understand. What does tearing out a page have to do with the Stellaron? Are you following Mr. Yang? I'm lost, actually. Ooh, that's all right. This is a bit of a conjectural leap. What I'm trying to say is, 
I think Law Cha may have friends on the Law Fu, and they're using the title page to communicate. Oh, uh, That makes him even worse! How dare he use a book that praises justice for his evil plans! I'm afraid evil plans are still within the realm of speculation at this stage. Mm. We have no way of knowing exactly what he did because the Psycrane data was lost. So, is this a dead end? Oh, got a message from Jinyan. Do you have some time? Please come back to the Realm Keeping Commission when you can. I fixed some of the recordings, and there is a section you might find interesting. That's good. Miss Jinyan's help is right on time. Thank you so much. We'll head there immediately. Okay, please be careful on the way here. Ah, oh. uh, that's more like it. New clues always turn up in the nick of time. I don't wait. So you're still reading traditional literature? Oh. Uh... <laughs> uh, Jingyan. So, we now know what time Luo Cha left the open area. Mm -hmm. Nice! You found footage of him leaving? Yes. According to the Psycrane recordings, he left the area two hours after he Ow. entered. Two hours? Uh, strange. Why spend two hours in such a confined area? He must have been up to something. Yeah. Afternoon nap. Uh, maybe he spent all his money on Star Taro bubble tea and couldn't afford a hotel room. What? <gasps> Star Taro. What? Oddly specific, March. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's a shame no side cranes are installed in that area. We still have no idea what he was up to. This Lucha is getting more suspicious by the minute. He has been suspicious. Psst. I know Mr. Yang never wears his heart on his sleeve, but do you get the feeling he's a little... restless? Yeah... Um... I reckon he must have had bad blood with the other Luochas he mentioned. Remember, we're talking about different worlds here. However, I can't deny I'm a little worried that... What happened to my home world could befall this place, too. Uh, how does he always hear us? We're kind of near him and we're whispering so loudly, so... Well, I'm afraid I have some other business to attend to. Let me know if you need anything. You know how to reach me. Uh, thanks for the help, Miss Chingyan. So, what did Law Cha get up to during those missing two hours? I think it's high time Detective March took the gloves off. Oh? And what do you have in mind, Detective? Fieldwork? All in T. T. That won't be necessary, Mr. Yang. As the angler once said, a true detective operates as effectively from their armchair as from the scene of the crime. Uh-huh. Hmm. Or, to put it another way, I'm too lazy to explore the map. It's too early to start field work. We must wait until my deduction is complete. Then when we arrive at the scene, you'll see that the facts match my theory to a T. Alright. <laughs> well, uh, seeing as you're so confident, let's give your idea a try. <sighs> Yay! <sighs> Mr. Yang is the Family best! Matters are always tricky. Okay, thank you for stopping by, Seneca Apple. Thank you, thank you. See you next time. Ta! Collaborate with March 7th to put on her detective show. <laughs> Ready? I'm gonna start my reconstruction. Okay. I'm good, let's do it. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Explaining a theory in front of everyone is more nerve-wracking than I expected. <laughs> oh, okay. 
Um, Rocha entered this hidden corner and stayed there for two hours. Genius Detective March 7th concluded something's fishy. Okay, we have Locha. Uh, we need... I think we can have anyone since Locha is a healer. That's fine. Um, let's have Inchway and Dan Hong probably. Yeah, let's go. All right, I'll be using the angler's deductive method. Reconstruct what happened from the bad guy's perspective. Okay. And now I'm Locha. Did they really make the voice actor do that? <laughs> Mr. Yang, I'm scared. Ugh, quit messing around, I'm thinking. <laughs> oh, almost forgot about that title page. He took it with him, so it must have had some significance. Uh -huh. uh, next up, I need to have a look at that map, Mr. Yang. Hmm, he must have gone through that gate up ahead. No way he would have stayed put in such a small area for two hours. But Miss Jingyan mentioned that gate is a military asset. It's locked all year round. Uh, you think that would stop the likes of Luocha? What kind of Stellaron smuggler would he be if he couldn't get past a door? <laughs> True. <laughs> you think a lock like this can stop a girl like me? I think I'm actually going insane. Uh, fine, I'll be me. You guys will have to imagine his lines instead. Okay. <laughs> Such a rudimentary lock. Easy pickings. Even if Lao Cha was able to unlock the door, what was his goal? His villain friends must have been waiting on the other side to buy the Stellaron. He went to meet them. <laughs> this is funny. Um, I can't change. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shoot. Um, uh, uh. oh, perfect. Wow, that was quick. Now that I think about it, something's not right. Why would they rendezvous at a military airfield? Yeah, because, uh, well, we're too law-abiding to understand bad guy logic. <laughs> Hiding in plain sight, perhaps. Maybe. Hold on. This would have been too quick a route. And? What's wrong with a quick route? Hmm? <laughs> Am I controlling with just, like, voice, uh, like... Is kind of like controlling the witch's voice lines? Ahem! What's wrong with the quick route, Mr. Yang? We're trying to uncover what Law Cha did during those two hours. But even if he repeated this route 20 times, it wouldn't have taken him that long. Hmm. Ah, <sighs> true. He must have had a tougher journey than I imagined. Oh, come on, let's start over. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> You look like a tasty morsel. <laughs> Those who dare to enter here must face a delicious fate. If they're doing this in real life, I imagine something like... <laughs> they have like tokens for each character. One is Luocha and the others are the monsters. <laughs> like, <rawr. laughs> Your eyes are bigger than your stomach, foul villain! How about you? How about you? Why is the monster talking now? <laughs> uh, you know, just a little dramatic effect! <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is funny. <laughs> Clemency? Never heard of it. Uh... 
The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision! Quick! Hear the thunder! No. Is it? Show no mercy! Man. When they keep quiet, they got my turn. Let's what? wait and see. Mm. Boom. So they put more monsters in here, okay. Repay. Whoa. Was that about? <laughs> Too late to repent. There's no time. Conflict is pitiless. <laughs> Wait for the tiles. Let's wait and see. That's cute. Oh, shoot. Monster layers in black market spaces. Uh, I doubt the law foo has any of that. At least I doubt things of that nature existed before the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. Mm. Uh, is it really so far-fetched? We're already assuming that Luocha came here to sell the Stellaron to a bunch of cutthroats. May as well throw in some monsters here and there. <laughs> this, this story have to be this stimulating? Uh, it's more fun this way? <laughs> anyway, it's not like we're gonna be able to conjure up exactly what Luocha ran into. Why not use our own interpretation to bridge the gap? Hmm. I suppose that makes some kind of sense. You're clearly enjoying this history, gang. I, uh... I try to go with the flow. <laughs> I didn't expect this place to be so treacherous. I'll need to be on my guard going forward. I wonder, just who is the buyer interested in the Stellaron? I wonder, too. What the buyer is waiting there. Time to head over. Plausible. Looking at the map, this place is well hidden. Finally, Mr. Yang approves Detective March's theory. <laughs> Let's see where this leads first. Yeah. Let's see. Stop right there. State your business. <laughs> well, it's fake. <laughs> um, is that Mr. Yang? Uh, no, that's Poir, the Chief Society's gatekeeper. Uh, okay, so he's just a stand-in. Isn't Puara a type of tea? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the... The ones in... The, uh, 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 case closed have, like... Um... Uh... Uh, uh liquor. Liquor, um... <laughs> instead of tea, they're liquors. Bourbon. I, I don't remember bourbon. That's right! He's a member of the Tea Society, so naturally he chose a type of tea as his alias. I know there's whiskey. Yeah. Hey, I'm talking to you. What's your <laughs> business here? The voice acting. <laughs> the accent. <laughs> Can you tell him to be less aggressive? <laughs> uh, oh, sure. Excuse me, sir. May I ask whether you're here on business or... Never mind. <laughs> I have a delivery for your boss. I need to give it to him in person. If you could let him know I'm here. Delivery? Ah, yes, the delivery. The boss is waiting for you. I'm afraid I'll need <laughs> to see some ID first. I wonder if Luocha has something prepared for this moment. ID? ID... I don't have ID. How will I know which one is this? I know they have like different stuff, but 
How will I know which one this is? Oh. That's the code. So you're the one. Wait here a moment. I'll call the boss right away. Okay. Take your time. Puar takes the page and goes to find the boss. Before long, Luocha sees an imposing figure walking towards him. Mm -hmm. Is it Tylus? Boss, this is the one. He brought the delivery. The delivery. I'll be the judge of that. Yep. <laughs> pom pom. <laughs> the cutest boss I ever saw. <laughs> I couldn't think of anyone else to be Mr. Yang's boss. <laughs> this is our boss, Startaro Bubble. Let's see this delivery and make it snappy. <laughs> Start our bubble? The milk tea? So what? This is the tea society, remember? Oh no. Not before I see the money. I'm sure you understand the rules of such a transaction. You don't know any other tea besides poor? Huh? You don't know... I don't know. <laughs> I guess the ones that I know are British. English breakfast tea. Green tea. Uh... <laughs> Come a mile. <laughs> uh, 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 mint. <laughs> Save it. Show us the goods first. First. Easy now. The item in question is extremely dangerous. It's understandable that our friend here wants to take extra precautions. Looks evil here. I love it. <laughs> I'm not sure Pom Pom is the best casting choice for a gang boss. <laughs> nah, no, he's good. He's good. I, I like seeing him like this. <laughs> uh, it it kind of works, right? It works, it works. Who are? Give him the money. Happy now? Ready to hand it over? <laughs> Sleep tea? That's come about tea, right? Be careful. Dangerous is an understatement with this item. I'll take my leave. Yes, you will. Permanently. Puar, get rid of him. Oh. Go. Oh, oh, this was all going so swimmingly. <laughs> Puar became a big robot. Selling a dangerous item to me makes you my accomplice. And I've got too many of those. To keep our little secrets safe, I'm afraid I need to take special measures. Okay. Quite sensible when you think about it. When it comes to minor yes. details, <laughs> March can be very logical. As for the rest of the story... Mm. I... Yeah, if... If this is true, it's either Luocha is dead, which we know he isn't, but they don't know that. Or Puar is dead. I don't know. Speaking of which, when did I turn into an Arumaton? <laughs> That's Puar's little secret. He transforms into an Arumaton in dire situations. <laughs> I... <sighs> okay. <laughs> Okay. Huh. And there I was, thinking you gangsters still had some decorum. <laughs> oh. Okay. Hey! Don't get complacent. Mm. <laughs> Conflict is pitiless. Show no mercy. Ah. Treason. Hold on. Wait for the tides. I need to verify. Um, what does your abilities do? <laughs> Store HP, remove buff, um, measure damage, flower. Race in the field, attack by an ally. Oh, I see. Come on. 
My turn. You Look chose the, the wrong enemy. Please. And... Victory! Eternal slip. The dead return! Hey. The truth of life in the sanctuary is but a vision! Break! Here, the thunder! Bam. Fighting is meaningless. Let's settle this. <laughs> Choose him to strike. Hey. Darn it! This isn't over! <laughs> Fights like these don't go unnoticed oh. in Exalting Sanctum. Cloud Knights could show up at any minute. Better get going. And so Locha has to make a break for it. But where to? Let me have a look at the map. Aha! Gotcha! Yeah. Run! Cloud Knights are here. Halt! Who goes there? Uh-oh. His only escape is... Is what? Climb aboard, Luata. Time to get out of here. So Luocha hopped on a star skip and fled with the help of his accomplice. And that, ladies and gents, is the truth behind Luocha's disappearance. I don't know. So, who was piloting the star skiff? Accomplice. I'm not sure either. The pilot didn't show themselves, so let's just assume it was him. <laughs> Please let the audience see my face. Yeah, too many faces, too small a budget. Maybe next time. What budget? You don't have a budget. March, as much as I enjoyed your deduction, I <laughs> do have a few questions. For example, if Law Cha took flight from the dock, how mm. could he appear in Psycrane footage two hours later? That's true. Also, the dock is a military installation. The Cloud Knights would be on the scene at the slightest disturbance. How did so many monsters show up without warning? Last but not least, even if Law Cha did encounter all of the troubles you describe, it wouldn't have taken him two hours to escape. Yes. Oh, you're right, Mr. Yang. I guess I can't compete with the angler just yet. Yeah. You know what? Time for some field work. <laughs> Maybe the answers to our questions are waiting for us at the scene. Maybe. That might be the best approach. Let's go. <clears throat> Just gonna get some water. Did you hear that? <laughs> okay. Before I continue, I'm gonna put the break screen on. Okay? I'll be back.
you welcome welcome back for me <laughs> I'm back um so okay so we're gonna check to this household team. registration always takes forever oh link I think there's something here too yeah yoink okay let's go drop by the realm keeping commission if you need help uh, Junya? Excuse me, officer. We're looking for someone. Can you help us? Okay. Okay. Am I... Am I... Lagging? Is it like... Hold on. Is it... Delayed? No, okay, okay, I don't look delayed, okay. He's got blonde hair, and judging by the way he's dressed, I'd say he was an outworlder. Whoa, we're looking at... I think he's the only blonde hair that we have in Shienju Lofu right now, right? An outworlder with blonde hair? Could it be? May I ask why you're looking for him? He saved our life! Oh. Since what? when did we start sharing a life? <laughs> Just him then? Bakken, we're not rehearsing. <laughs> Their names back and forth. <laughs> Excuse me, gentlemen. Would this blonde haired, life saving outworlder bear any resemblance to our suspect here? Hmm? Oh, that's him! Mr. Locha, he rescued both of us. Can I ask when this rescue occurred? Hmm. It was the day before the Ambrosial Arbor came back to life. <laughs> All his activities are before the Ambrosial Arbor came to life. But he was... By the way he was acting back in the uh, story quest, it looked like he just arrived or something. He just arrived there for the coffin. We were planning to thank him properly, but in the aftermath of the Arbor incident, we never had the time. <laughs> Are you two... Oh, the people in dark clothing? What's with the wardrobe change? Dark clothes? Oh. Dark clothing? Oh, I know what you're talking about. What a pair of clowns we are. Dark clothing. <laughs> Why? We... Oh. Fell into a ditch. Oh, and the ditch had like... What do you call that? The black stuff? Wait, what? <laughs> there we were, looking for a spot to practice our new routine. Oh. We found a place, eventually. A little dilapidated, but nice and quiet. <sighs> Shame about the giant ditch. Oh. <sighs> I lost my footing and slipped right in. My associate here, Forth, yelled after me, Don't panic! Forth's got your back! Two seconds later, he landed on my back. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ditch was connected to a sewer outlet. Oh, we were covered head oh. to toe in... Anyway. Yeah. I assume that's why you thought we had dark clothing on. A dignified story. I'm sure you'll agree. Sorry. Uh, uh no wonder Yin Shu said she had to cover her nose. Oh, because they smelled because they smelled. <laughs> anyway, thankfully Mr. Lorcha was passing by and dragged us back to dry land. It took all his strength, I'll wager. Hmm, what did Lorcha do exactly? A thousand, A thousand things, things, kind stranger! stranger. Uh, okay. Without your bravery, oh. we'd never have gotten out of that ditch alive. <laughs> <laughs> no, sir. That if you ever need anything, and it's within our power to help, you can count on us. Even it's beyond our power to help. I don't know. You shouldn't promise that. That's too kind of you. It was nothing. 
Really? <laughs> Nonsense! You went out of your way to... Don't worry about it. You should head back home now. Take care. He's in a hurry. He had to go somewhere. No! We can't thank you enough! Oh, one moment, both of you. That sewage could well contain harmful compounds. Oh. I'm something of a doctor. Let me give you a prescription. Make sure to use the medicine and get some good rest. Mm. There you go. I don't know what to say. Uh, sorry to trouble you. <laughs> uh, we'll take our leave now. Be careful on the back. Wouldn't want to find ourselves in another ditch now, would we? <laughs> Here. That's the prescription he gave us. What is it? A paper flower? It's beautiful. Did Luocha make this? Oh. Was the flower that he was waving up made of paper? That's right. He wrote down the prescription so. <laughs> and folded it into shape. In front of you? Uh, origami takes a lot of time. <laughs> a man of romantic sensibilities, one might say. <laughs> <laughs> the paper looks familiar. Can I open it? Mm. <laughs> of course. We'd already opened it when we showed it to the pharmacy. Oh. Uh, we were planning on handing it over to the Realm Keeping Commission. We suspect it's probably our best chance of tracing him. Mm. We can take it off you. We'll let you know when we find him. Let me see. Uh, of course! What is it? It's the title page of the Angler Mystery! Oh, uh, What? Prescription? The prescription's on this side, oh, but on the okay. back there's... Huh? So that's what this is all about? What? What's on the back? Take a look yourself. What is it? To the next reader, the killer is Chung Hong, the nephew of Chang the Ninth. Chang the Ninth is this. this... Oh. Your sister. With your sister Lee, best regards. The immortal spoiler. So he spoils. So he spoils the. Uh... Uh, uh, the, 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 the readers? Oh wait, no. Maybe he torn off the spoiler. Huh. Uh, I'm sorry that you have a, 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 a killer nephew, Chang the Ninth. The immortal spoiler? Ugh, some people just want to watch the world burn. <laughs> I'm starting to think the locha we envision doesn't square with a real one. Would a villain do a good deed like this? I don't think so. Oh, so he paid for the book and tore off the title page to protect people from the spoiler. He didn't have to do that. He could just ink it out. He must be a fan of this book too. I knew Angler Mystery fans couldn't be bad. <laughs> Oh, we're done. <laughs> oh, he can visit us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, pretty though. The petals, a piece of paper casually folded into a flower. The petals are delicate with life and lifelike, and the ones what and one wonders what kind of person would have bestowed such likeness onto the paper. Into the desolate. Perfect detectives. <laughs> Although this doesn't really clear him out of suspicion. Um. <laughs> yeah, this is, this doesn't really really clear him out of suspicion. He still could be the one that um, brought the stellar one with him. So we'll we'll still see what his involvement is within this whole thing. Pain. Okay. Well, looks like the whole thing was just a... 
big misunderstanding. Yeah. Indeed. And I've learned not to judge a book by its cover. Anyway, that's enough reflection for one day. Let's get going. To where? <laughs> get going to <laughs> where, Mr. Yang? Garden of Gourmet. You two deserve a treat. Ooh. Yay. Uh, yay. <laughs> We're like the kids. We're going to Jollibee. Oh. <laughs> I just said Joll. I was thinking McDonald's, but I just said Jollibee. <laughs> It's the Filipino in me, guys. <laughs> Going to McDonald's. They're not gonna buy the Grimace shake. Nope. Okay. Alright. So. Last one. I think we still have time for um, Bailu. Go. So. I tried fixing some of the relevant recordings in the psych brain and I found this part about Luocha. I've left I've left it in the four square mirror. Um please have a look when you can. However, I still lean towards Mr. Luocha I have nothing to do with this. I see, thank you. You're welcome. I'm just doing my job. One second. Oh, okay. Oh. The help. Uh, it's about the dragon lady? Yes. You have extraordinary skills. And you earned her trust when you rescued her. Oh, it's by Luha. Um... Uh, okay, I'll do it. <laughs> That was fast. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Here's the situation. Lady Bailu, the Vidyadra Dragon Lady, has escaped from the Alchemy Commission again. Oh. I say again because the Realm Keeping Commission has seen more than a few of her bad-tempered escapes. Oh. She escaped? Was she imprisoned? Not imprisoned, exactly. Oh. Vidyadara customs are somewhat different from Sienjo native customs. Miss Bailu has incredible talents and is next in line to rule over the Vidyadara. Oh. It's normal that her people would want to keep a close eye on her. I see. She was... Um, like... She's still imprisoned. <laughs> However, she also has somewhat of a free spirit. She always manages to find a way to escape her residence. <laughs> um, I'm listening. It used to be the duty of the Realm Keeping Commission to go after her and take her back to the Alchemy Commission. Hmm. But this time is different. Because of the Stellaron crisis, we're constantly short of manpower. Besides, even if we catch the Dragon Lady, we can't take her back anytime soon. I don't know if you heard, Someone locked down the Delves connected to the Alchemy Commission. Oh, what? Now nobody can get in or out. It's completely cut off. Something very fishy is going on. Uh, so, how did the Dragon Lady get out? That's what I want to know. I guess she sneaked out before the Delves were locked down. <laughs> she might even know what happened in the Alchemy Commission. Probably, yeah. Then is there really anything I can do? I'd like you to help with two things. Uh-huh. First, find the Dragon Lady and take care of her until the Alchemy Commission delves are reopened. Oh. Don't lose sight of her. The second thing might be a bit hard to understand. I want you to stop her from treating the Mara Struck. Oh. Does she have the habit of doing that? Um. Why stop her from treating the Mara Struck? Being stricken with Mara isn't like catching a curable disease. All the healer lady can do is slow the process. Oh, I... Right. So oh, when we first saw her in the cutscene, she was trying to heal the Mara struck. It's not a disease? Take you short life species as an example. Do you consider aging a disease? Oh. 
No. Aging can be slowed, but it's still unavoidable. Just like being stricken with Mara for the people of the Sienjo. Unfortunately, becoming Mara struck is more terrifying than death. It's an inevitable curse in the blood of Sienjo natives. Then what can be done for them? The Sienjo has long had other methods. When Mara is about to strike, the spirit fairs and judges of the Ten Lords Commission promptly take the afflicted away. It's not something the Alchemy Commission should be meddling in. Hmm. Mara is scary, but it won't cause any harm if you have it under control. We have the Realm Keeping Commission and Cloud Knights here in Exalting Sanctum. More than enough to handle any eventuality. Oh. However, the Dragon Lady's Mara suppression could lead to Mara Struck falling under the Ten Lords Commission's radar. Oh. If we let her carry on, We'll have Mara struck on every street corner. People will panic. I see. Seeing as we're already dealing with one crisis, we need to be extra vigilant when dealing with the Mara struck. This is not something that can be taken lightly. Hmm, I see. Leave it to me. You're the distinguished guest of General Jing Yuan and Diviner Fu Shen. Mm -hmm. As such, you'll also have the full trust of the Realm Keeping Commission. Yay. Oh, one more thing. There's a lot of suspicion surrounding the Alchemy Commission these days. If you discover someone from the Commission on the hunt for the Dragon Lady, watch your step. Eesh. Um. Hmm. I have a feeling this is more complicated than it sounds. Ah, don't fret. <laughs> Looking after children is a pain, but as the general's distinguished guest, I know you'll do great. Y you're you're uh, you're overselling me, my dude. <laughs> Evan, Evanus, like the morning dew. Uh. Drop by the realm keeping commission if you need it. Let's see. Okay, oh, going up. Oh, there she is. That was quick. <sighs> Lady Pailu, I told you to follow my plan. You draw attention when you use your powers, and we still have to take care of the matter at hand. I was only tending to the sick. Besides, you weren't even here just now. Where did you go? You know full well about my situation, Lady Bailu. If there are people from the Ten Lords Commission present in the plaza, then... Uh... Um... Hello, Ten Lords Commission here. You're under arrest. You dragon lady? I finally found you. Hello. Who are you? I... You're not a Ten Lord Spirit Fair. Why are you trying to frighten people? I, I wasn't. I. I. I deliberately did not choose the other option. Please. <laughs> I only escaped. I mean, left the Alchemy Commission for an official medical visit. There's nothing more to it, okay? The nurse here can vouch for me. Okay. <laughs> Easy, Lady Bailu. He's clearly not from the Alchemy Commission, either. Nope. Huh? Then don't scare me like that! Huh... Wait a minute... I've seen you before! Yep, you did. In the plaza! I was surrounded by all those Mara struck. You rescued me, right? It was you! You came just in time! Um... Back then, or now? Bansia, you said you don't know the way from here, right? This guy's no pushover. He'll be able to help. Really? No, Lady Bailu. I don't trust him. Okay, uh, good night, child. Thank you for stopping by. Uh, oh yes to me. Please leave us. Okay. Um... I am afraid that's not your call to make. 
I'm taking care of Lady Bailu. You don't need to worry. Hey, lady. <gasps> you two, stop arguing! I think there's someone from the Alchemy Commission over there! Oh. You! Help us hide first! We'll talk later. Uh, okay. Um. You'd be a tool to miss a tile in the pool. This is her, right? Just blend it in. This room seems to be able to hide them for a moment. Lady Bailu, this way. Get them in. Coming! Help us get rid of him, please! We'll have plenty of time to talk later. Don't don't run away, okay? Bailu and Blanchia hid in the room and lowered their voices. They should be hard to be discovered. Huh. I'll ask first, and then decide what to do. Okay. Hello, good sir. I'm a good citizen. I am law-abiding. I am trusted. You there! Excuse me. I want to ask you something. Huh? And it figured now's a good time to come back to life? Um, make it quick. I'm in a hurry. <laughs> You're not the only one. Okay. Can you at least hear me out first? Okay. Have you seen a woman wearing an alchemy commission uniform? She was about the same height as you. I think she was heading towards the jetty. We walk the same path, but mm. it would seem she's hiding from me. <laughs> I mean... I haven't seen anyone like that. Mm. Very well, thank you. I'll head over to the jetty. Okay. This is more suspicious, to be honest. When I think of it, um, I might have seen her. She was going to, in the opposite direction. The opposite direction? It can't be. I just came from that direction. <laughs> Are you covering for her? You oh. know something, all right. I have a few more questions for you. Uh. Oh shit. You're fighting me? There's no time to lose. Why is there Mars stuck here? Conflict is pitiless. Let me tend your wounds. Gotcha. Take uh, cover. Lands at the ready. Lance ablaze. Lance. Forward. Ooh. Follow my gear. The thunder. <laughs> Show no, no mercy. mercy. Yeah. There we go. Yay. There's more to this alchemy oh, commission shit. doctor than meets the eye. I wonder if I can glean more clues from him. I just beat him up in the middle of the town. That's an Alchemy Commission doctor's uniform, all right. Yeah, but it doesn't sound like he's from the Alchemy Commission. Dahao did say there was suspicion surrounding the Alchemy Commission. Oh. Check... his pants... pockets. Take us to Rothen's scrunch shop and shove into pockets. Why not have a look? Uh, in the... front? A jade abacus bracelet was the, with the latest design cannot be unlocked with a gold badge. I better take this. Check the jacket pocket. Things that cannot that be put in. That tree remained dead for thousands of years. And it figured now's a good time to come back to life? Wallet. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, photo. A family photo taken somewhere, not on Shinjo Lo Fu. Evidently, the disciple of Sanctus Medicus came from a different world. He came either chasing a dis the distant idea of, of immortality to cure a disease. 
Um, he has a bright that smile in the photo. That tree dead for thousands of years. Drastically different to how he looked to when to you life. met him on the street. We'll take another family photo together on the seaside rocks when you're back. Oh. Do you people apart from Outworlders on she and Joe would have a wallet? No money has been found in his wallet. Oh, you can only see the fo a folded photo inside of it. I better take this. Or maybe that's not necessary. Okay. Like his bought packets. Oh boy, we're just we're just looting this person. Uh, a medical prescription. The messy writing makes one question the uh, sanity of the author. Five mace of Dayu Angelica, three mace of Tian Dong, mixed into the of Xianjo natives uh, who have reached six hundred years of age. A special but scratched out prescription which seems to have something to do with the Mara Strong. I better take this. Uh, Back. Oh shit. Disciples of Sanctus Medicus letter. A letter between the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. The correct words will only appear, appear when in the hands of the intended receiver. A piece of folded letter that reads, Mercy of Sanctus Medicus, the Arbor's new growth, unity of Discipuli Medicus, the immortality ch true path. Oh, I better take this. Okay. We just looted the man. That Goodbye. Bye. 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 You'd be a title. Go. Uh, nobody home! No <laughs> it's me, Kylas. Does that mean we're safe now? Yeah. <gasps> we're coming out! Oh boy. Careful in coming out. After making sure they are not pursued anymore, Balu and Ban Banshia walked out of What the happened? Place. That man wanted to catch me and take me back to the Alchemy Commission, right? I knew it! Yeah, he's actually looking for... Raisha. See? I told you this guy was trustworthy. Thank you for helping us. But I'm worried you being here could just complicate matters further. <sighs> Please leave us be. Uh, that man was looking for you, Banshia. <sighs> huh? Why were they looking for Miss Banshia? That can't be right. They must have been looking for me. Um. He was looking for a commission woman who was. Uh, who. <laughs> Who, about the same height as me. Uh, how is that possible? How can I prove the doctor from the Alchemy Commission was looking for Bonsia? Hmm. Not sure which one. This one? Strange prescription doesn't seem to be. Uh, does this prescription really have anything to do with Bonsia? Probably this one then. Testimony doesn't seem all that they are with a beautiful bag. Wait a minute. I'll keep looking. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus letter indicates that Bonsia, the nurse who betrayed the disciple of Sanctus Medicus, has already escaped uh, with the Alchemy Commission elf. Here's the proof. Oh, I didn't read that, I think. <laughs> I think that's the only thing that I didn't read. <laughs> this letter. Wait, I've heard of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Aren't they those crazy followers that worship the Mara Struck and the Plague's author? But Bonsia's nothing like them. She wanted me to treat the Mara Struck. Lady Bailu, you promised you wouldn't tell anyone about that. <laughs> Wanted her to treat the Mara Struck? Suspicious. Could she be a disciple of Sanctus Medicus? I wonder if I have any evidence. <laughs> this is a prescription from the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Bailu, can you take a look? The handwriting on this prescription is exactly the same as the one you gave to me. Oh. Bonsia, are you really from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? 
Huh? You're a liar! A great big liar! Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Lady Bailu. Oh. I am a member of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. And that doctor from the Alchemy Commission was sent to catch me. Why? But I... I never meant to harm Lady Bailu. On the contrary, by taking her away from that place, I was protecting her. I made a deal with Lady Bailu before we escaped. We have an urgent task to complete. Please, don't take her away. Why should I do that? I should ask Bailu what she thinks about all this first. Mm. Huh? Treating wounds and diseases is one thing. But curing the evils of humanity? There I was thinking, someone helped me escape the Alchemy Commission because they genuinely wanted to help me! Oh, my huh. Enough. Being angry will stunt my growth. <laughs> Let's put this behind us. <sighs> what is the connection between the Alchemy, Alchemy Commission and the dis disciples of Sanctus Medicus? How should I know? It's not like commission members walk around with Disciple of Sanctus Medicus on their foreheads. That's true. You've heard about Disciples of Sanctus Medicus. I don't know much. If it weren't for those scrolls in the Alchemy Commission's Elixir Research Terrace, I doubt anyone in the Shencho would have heard of them. Hmm. A long time ago, even by the standards of long-life species, the Shencho eliminated an organization that worshipped the Plague's author. Why were they eliminated? Because they held an incredibly dangerous notion. Mm -hmm. Shencho people wanted to be released from the threat of Mara and return to the stability of life and death. Yet the disciples of Sanctus Medicus believed that being stricken with Mara was a blessing, a natural evolutionary step in casting off the mortal coil. Mm -hmm. Sounds great, right? Well, only if you think becoming a monster devoid of all humanity is a good thing. That's why the Cloud Knights and Ten Lords Commission cooperated to eliminate the organization. But just because you can't see something doesn't mean it isn't there. It's like eradicating a sickness. Mm. Easier to do when the symptoms are visible. In hindsight, not only did the disciples endure, they expanded the organization in secret. Well, that is a lot. What does it just what does it mean to be a Marish? The people of the Shencho have asked themselves that question thousands of times. Mm. Countless doctors and sages have dedicated their lives to researching a cure for the curse. Tragically, besides a few theories, no one has come to a definite conclusion. It's a curse. In truth, nobody in this world can fully comprehend the curse of the plague's author. Yeah. Then why are you still treating the Mara Struck? When symptoms strike, the Mara Struck are quickly taken away by the spirit bearers and judges of the Ten Lords Commission. I just want to reduce their suffering and let them leave with dignity. I see. But the people of the Realm Keeping Commission do have a point. I don't have any other questions. Well, Bansha? I'm sorry. I wasn't honest with Lady Bailu, but <laughs> I had no other choice. What deal did you make with the Dragon Lady? I asked her to save my beloved. Oh. In return, I helped her escape from the Alchemy Commission. I see. That's why. I broke many of the Vidyadara's laws, and the Alchemy Commission is bound to punish me. But I just can't let my beloved die. So is are they a via a vidya are they a vidya dhara? Hmm. I have questions. I, I don't you. have much time left. But go ahead. Hmm. Um why did you hide all this from Bailu? I thought we would be fine after we escaped. I didn't know those people would come after us. I, I just couldn't find a way to tell her I was a disciple and about all the things I experienced there. 
You've been nice to me. But you shouldn't have kept me in the dark. I hate when grown-ups hide secrets and only tell you half the story. Whew, it's such a headache. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, this is not really important. Or is it? Or is your beloved? His name is Leon Lu. He's a short life species that requested an uh, elixir. I see. I used to think that the suffering of short life species was nothing. But my heart. <laughs> my heart ached when I saw him in such pain. It's something I never expected to experience in my lifetime. Falling in love with a short life species. <laughs> Such a bittersweet feeling. That's when I thought of Lady Bailu. The dragon lady that can heal mortals through tears alone. But it would take 30 years for her to treat all those in need. Yeah, there's too much Marastruck already. I had no choice but to come up with this plan. Please. Please forgive me. You know what? You sound genuine. You said you didn't have much time left? I'm already showing symptoms of the Marastruck. Uh-oh. The disciples of Sanctus Medicus regard the Marastruck as saints. They take all kinds of strange medicines to speed up the process. Oh. I was no exception. You were... forced to take some... But since I met Leonmu... I realize that these saints are horrible creatures. Even if I were to become immortal, to not recognize him, to forget him, or become something that he doesn't recognize. Oh. <laughs> That's why I stopped taking the medicines and escaped. Thanks to the Dragon Lady, I made it here safely. <sighs> That's all I wanted to ask. Bailu, do you want to go with her? Hmm. She hid everything from me, but I promised her I'd save her beloved. After all these years, I'm still not used to seeing people suffer. <laughs> Lady Bailu. Bansia, tell us what you want to do next. I can't let the disciples of Sanctus Medicus or the Ten Lords Commission find us. We need to find a way to get to Cloudford without drawing their attention. I have someone in mind. Uh, who? What are we, a tool what are we doing? Island. Where are we going? Oh. Hello, Guangda. I'm Guangda, an orderly from the Realm Keeping Commission. If you have an urgent issue, please go to the Chancery. Uh, huh? Aren't you the healer lady? Yep. Uh, 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 uh. Shh. <laughs> we need to ask you a favor? <sighs> if it's official business you're here about, you'll need to go to the Chancery. Da Hao and Song Yan should be there. I'm just an orderly. As for anything concerning the Dragon Lady, I'm sorry, but there's nothing I can do. Okay. I'd like to take your ship to Cloudford. <laughs> hey, would you keep it down? <laughs> You've got it wrong. That that's not my ship. It's my friend's. My friend has a Star Skiff travel permit and can help you leave quickly. I'm not the one who owns the ship. Oh, well, leave me to him then. Just cut to the chase. Can we take the ship or not? Sorry about that. <laughs> yes, you can, but please keep it down. I can take you there if the price is right. I, uh, I mean, my friend can take you there. So relax, hmm? How about it? Shall we set off? Mm, let's go. I'll have a... Push on. Push on. Ooh. <sighs> Leonmu. I must see him. 
aren't you about to transform? Pansia, your symptoms are getting worse. Oh. I have some soothing tonic in my gourd. Would you like some before we set off? <sighs> Thanks, Lady Bailu. But we can't delay any longer. Hmm. Isn't Cloud for the dock? I told Lanmu to hide in a Cloudbird shipping container. Oh. I couldn't let the disciples of Sanctus Medicus find him. Do you remember where it is? Why would the dis disciples of Sanctus Medicus know him? Because I promised Leon Mu I'd bring him an elixir of immortality. To make him one of the people of the Sienjo like me. Mm. <gasps> you know that's one of the Xianzhou's ten unpardonable sins, right? Yeah. Yes. But I knew nothing about the treachery of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus back then. I only knew that people in the Alchemy Commission were involved in ancient clandestine medicines. But I was wrong. It wasn't a blessing of immortality. Not even a poor imitation. They were turning humans into monsters, weren't they? Yeah, they were. Short-life species are expendable to those maniacs. They use them in experiments to develop their medicines. Are they using your lover? <laughs> or young? I don't have much time left. And I only have one solution left. Healer lady. <laughs> That's right. Why can't we call her by her name? <laughs> lady Bailu, you still remember our deal, right? You help me escape the Alchemy Commission, I save your sweetheart. Yep. <laughs> Thank you, Lady Bailu. The place we arranged to meet up is ahead. Let's go. Go. Okay. I can't. I can't forget. I must get there. Okay, okay, we'll get you this there. This is again. bad. She's starting to lose touch with reality. The soothing tonic might not work anymore. This calls for shock treatment. Uh oh. Shock treatment is not good. How can that be? Where is he? We agreed to meet here. My head. How can that be? Let her rest here for a while. I'll think of something. Try not to move, Banzia. But he's not here. We still need to find him. Nurse! Get a hold of yourself. <laughs> Doctor's orders. Oh. He's getting delirious. Are we okay? Can you see if there are any clues nearby? I don't think Bansia's sweetheart would leave for no reason. Leave it to me. Leave the patient to me. I'm the healer lady of the Alchemy Commission, after all. You know what? That's a valid. Um... Let's start with this area. And see if we can find any clues nearby. It's a valid question. Oh, uh, do you have no phones? Stay still. This ointment will help. Hmm. <laughs> there was a day when all the other patients were lying in bed. But I found him painting a forest. I told him he was supposed to be resting. Hmm. He said, I want to see the vast forests of Van Walk one day. And to make a dream a reality, you must paint an invisible future. I must get well by any means, even if it means jail or exile. Oh, I never had anything I wanted to do. I just got on with my nursing work, day in and day out. Sometimes I'd feel like a century was a pointless, trivial blink of an eye. And that it wouldn't matter if it was all over by the next blink. I wasn't interested in anything that had happened to me up to then. The things I'd experienced, <laughs> none of it mattered. Mm. But the moment I heard Liamu's words, <laughs> I suddenly felt sad. A person shouldn't feel that way about their life. 
They shouldn't be indifferent to the time they own. No, the NPC uh, voice acting in this game is also really good. <laughs> Liam, <laughs> he opened my eyes. It, he was like a shining star. Man. Sorry, I don't quite understand this feeling. My lady, why do you always run away from the Alchemy Commission? Don't you like treating people? It's true. I was born with a gift for healing. But as for whether I like it or not, I couldn't tell you. She doesn't know. I've been studying medicine for as long as I can remember. Nobody's ever asked me whether I like it. Those old Vidyadara fools don't care. And neither do I. Treating others is like eating and drinking for me. I don't have any feeling towards it. And if I had to choose, I think I'd say I hate it. Oh. Hmm. But you know what? If you're forced to do it all your life, I don't blame you. But I like it when someone gets better after I treat them. So you need to pull yourself together. Yeah, treating people and seeing people's reactions and getting treated, getting better, that's two different things. <sighs> I think I can understand you. Okay. Clues, 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 sparkles, sparkle. Oh. <laughs> oh, sparkle. Bansha, if you're reading this. It means you have come to find me. I have left this container and I am and am hiding elsewhere. I have left my whereabouts in the back of the letter. And you should see some light marks if you dust it off. I really don't know how to describe the container's location, so I drew a rough sketch. A few days ago, you were worried that I would not be able to eat well or sleep well at Cloudford due to my illness and sent me some Xian Zhou specialty snacks, books, and pillows to... The courier cyclones. While I was overjoyed, I was also I also felt very guilty. How could I pay how could I ever pay your kindness? What can I offer in return? Maybe it will take me hundreds or thousands of years to repay you. You know me. Longevity is not my ultimate pursuit. Unlike those elixir seekers, I have great ambitions. Now with your help, my efforts have paid off. Immortality is no longer out of my reach. I thank you for the bottom of my heart. Back to business. I cleaned up the traces of life around the container. This, because a disciple of um, Sanctus Medicus came up to me. And it must be because of you. I am not angry, but excited. It means that you have succeeded. And we are one step closer to success. I'll hide in the next place. Call out for me when you arrive. After confirming that you're alone, I will come out. Don't blame me for being too cautious. I wouldn't be alive if I wasn't. Yangmo. It looks like Bansha's sweetheart was tracked by the disciples of Sanctus Medicus mm -hmm. and had to switch locations. Yep. I should go tell Bansha and Bailu. Uh, I read it, yeah. Huh. Yeah. What happened? Did you find any clues? I did. Hand over the notes. Uh, uh, <coughs> the disciples of Sanctus Medicus already had their eye on this place. Yep. I just hope he's okay. Let's keep walking. No way. Do you know how bad your condition is? Don't worry. I'll find Yang Mu and treat him. <laughs> Send Bansia back to the apothecary in Starskip Haven. Hmm. No. I know exactly how bad my condition is. <laughs> That's why I've changed my mind. I want to see him one last time. This reminds me a lot of the Bai... Baiju? Baiju, um... 
um, for request. Um, it's also about lovers and like one uh, is like you know, there's like a a whole like one or the other. Which one will live? Which one will won't? Oh, this reminds me of that. You'll help me, right? <sighs> I have a favor to ask you. <laughs> You've seen for yourself how dangerous the Mara Struck can be. I if the time comes, <sighs> please protect the Dragon Lady. I will. I'll do what I must. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you say that. Okay, let's go. I caught sight of a lot of disciples in the area just now. You did? I'm a traitor to them. They won't stand idly by if they lay eyes on me. If you can't fend them off, just let me go with them. Does one traitor require so many people? not this way. Or is it? Oh. Bansha, if you're reading this, it means I'm once again hiding somewhere else now. Like last time, I left my whereabouts on the back of the letter. This time, I'm going to hide it in the harbor. Hide in the harbor. Um, I, but I can't hide for long. I'm running uh, out of hiding places. The disciples of Zactus Medicus and wardens of the Ten Lords Commission are all here, and I can't be found out by either of them. In order to not be discovered by them, I left. I guess that the dis disciples of um, Zactus Medicus are, are trying their utmost to capture you and me in order to prevent the secret of, from being leaked, and the wardens seem to have received intel on the disciples of Sanctus Medicus and are looking for them at Cloudford. If I weren't an, an elixir seeker, I would have come out in the uh, and applauded the Tor Ten Lords Commission. Come and find me as soon as possible. I can't wait to see you. As before, I will be in my next hiding place. Call out for me when you arrive. After confirming that you are alone by yourself, I will come out. Remember, come alone. I won't re reveal myself if other people are present. I don't know. <sighs> Lady Bailu, I can't go on anymore. Ah, uh, he isn't waiting for us here. Did he hide somewhere else? Yeah, he did. <sighs> Lady Bailu, watch out! There you are. Z clearly failed them. Hmm. Uh oh. And if it isn't the Dragon Lady, trying to make up for past sins, are we? Mm. <sighs> blah, blah, blah. I've heard enough out of you already. If it's a beating you want, allow me to do the honors. I'll deal with you in a moment, little girl. Men, take oh. the traitor and make sure you get the list from her. It's, it's, it's... What's her name? I forgot. Won't even think about it. It's her. That is everyone. Seize them. Oh. Are you giving me an order? Nope. You. Karmic atonement. Hi. A ten lords commission, George. Yep. 
I don't think she's here. Let me through. Dodge this. You don't look so good. <laughs> Luck of the draw. Please and victory. victory. Yet. Commission judge packs a punch. But Bonsia, you. Shh, shh, shh. If she notices my symptoms, she won't hesitate. Yeah. Why are the disciples of Sanctus Medicus pursuing you? Um. We're an Alchemy Commission rescue squad. I only see two of you in Alchemy Commission attire. Um, I'm I'm just a passerby. <laughs> you, girl, raise your head. You have a wandering look in your eyes. A Mara struck look, perhaps? Uh, help us, Miss Judge! We only just managed to escape before the Delves were locked down. Those evil men have been chasing us. <laughs> this nurse is so scared she can barely stand. Oh, by law. Hmm. Madam Shui the remnants of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus have been found in the southwest of Cloudford. This place isn't secure. You should leave immediately. Okay. Soldiers, see them on their way. Under the escort of the Cloud Knights, you were taken to a safer place in Cloudford. That's the strangest judge I've ever come across. Bansia, are you all right? How is she strangest? <laughs> I made it this far. I won't go back without seeing him one last time. Oh. Let's go this way and see if we can avoid those cloud nights. Okay. Let's see. Back here. Oh wait, this is from Lu. It it was from Luchas. You'll be earlier. Move to the right. Eve. All right. Move to the left. Eve. There are cloud knights and disciples of Sanctus Medicus over there. Ugh. We don't have time for them. There are armed villains up ahead. If you're not on duty here, return to the city for your own safety. Uh, uh, he's right behind that door. Uh, we're almost there. Mm. But there are cloud knights stationed there. Wait. I have an idea. What? What is it? Hmm. About time we taught some roadblock to such a lesson. Hey! Don't cause a commotion, <laughs> or the judge will be on our case again for sure. Didn't we pass some soldiers resting on the way over here? You know, the place where the Cloud Knights and the Disciples of Sentus Medicus fought. Yeah. Maybe where the Cloud Knights ar armor? <sighs> you said it, not me. I mean, he implied it. Hmm. A spot of emergency treatment in exchange for some armor. Sounds fair to me. <laughs> Let's do what Lady Bailu suggested. Gave okay, medical treatment to the wounded clouded knights that have lost consciousness and grabbed some. <coughs> There's no time to lose. Let's go! <laughs> Just tell them your soldier's guiding me back to the Alchemy Commission. They won't know any better. Oh. Halt! What's with the kid? Uh, uh, surely, 
You know the healer lady of Alchemy Commission. I shouldn't talk, actually. I should do, do the talking. Mm. She does have horns and a tail. Uh, we need to escort her back to the Alchemy Commission. I heard the Dragon Lady likes to sneak away from the Commission. But I never thought I'd have the honor of seeing her in person. No! No! I haven't finished playing yet! I don't want to go back to the Alchemy Commission! <laughs> uh... <coughs> Is the nearest harbor up ahead? That's right. You don't seem very well, soldier. We have a military doctor up ahead. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry. I have the dragon lady with me. I... I still want to play! I'm hungry! Don't take me back! I don't want to go back! I'm not going back! You're overselling it too much, Milo. Access granted. Good work, soldiers. <clears throat> Thank you. Hmm. How was that? Wasn't my acting amazing? Let me tell you, a performance like that requires a lot of 10 for 10 from practice. Truly. That was embarrassing. Hey! <laughs> if I hadn't pretended to cry, you wouldn't have got through the sentry post. Yeah, that's true. By the way, what's taking Bansia so long? I think she turned already. <coughs> Why can't I take off my helmet? Oh no. Why is my voice like... This! Oh no. But she's trying to take well, the armor off, but feel it sticks her to her so tight as if it's part of her body. Can you help me check? <laughs> it feels like something's caught. Oh. Morris Joe. But she still has the senses. Oh, Lady <laughs> Is this a result of your healing? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> if it weren't for you, I me? That's my fault. I couldn't preserve you the way you were. Oh, you can't cure someone stricken with Mara. <laughs> it's already a miracle that I still have my senses. That I can talk to you. Hey. Do you still remember what I said earlier? <laughs> if the time comes... Yes, I remember. Let's go. While I still have my senses. Let's get you to him. Should we go faster, though? Help her get there slowly. Wait, I feel a bit dizzy. Oh no. What should I do? Serious imbalances of yin and yang? Cold and heat? Um, I just need a rest. Oh. Lady Bailu, don't forget our deal. Ah. Uh. I made a promise. I'll heal him. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's because of me that all of you are in danger. Enough talk. Here, I'll pour the medicine through the helmet. Uh, thank you. Lady Bailu. <laughs> but I can't fill the gap between my skin and the helmet anymore. God damn it. We've arrived. Is he not here either? Or is he? <clears throat> He's cautious by nature. Do you remember his note? He told me to come alone. Yeah. But you already... <laughs> he won't show himself if you're here. <coughs> I'll call out to him. Please, you two, 
find somewhere to hide. Remember our promise. Mm, I remember. Let's go. Let's go. Leono! Monster! Oh no. Leono! Help! Ew. Oh no! Let's hurry over! I can't hold on any longer! Where is he? <laughs> Do it! Don't forget... The promise! Oh... Uh, Bansha... Oh boy... Lance I'm ablaze. sorry, Bansha. I'm really sorry. Lance! Forward! Uh. <sighs> Do you think she saw him one last time? Yes, but I doubt he recognized her. Grown-ups are complicated, huh? Yeah. Let's keep heading in this direction until we find him. Yeah. Oh, my lord, it's okay. You fool! Oh, I guess they didn't know. Bad music, huh? Hello, sir. Are you from the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus? Or the Ten Lords Commission? Don't touch me! I didn't do anything! Bancha sent us. That's right. I'm here to heal you. <sighs> You're finally here. First, I was being chased by the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Then I ran into the Cloud Knights. Then I thought I heard Bancha's voice, but I ran straight into a monster. <sighs> what a day. But if Bancha sent you, then... Where is she? Isn't she with you? What do you think? Should we tell him the truth? I can't give him false hope. The, that Marestruck monster just knows Bansha. What? That monster armed to the teeth? That was Bansha? You're lying. No, I'm not. It's true. She had to disguise herself in order to meet you. How is that possible? Could you take me there? Just to confirm. She won't look the same. But okay. Go there. This is Bancha? This hideous creature? Stop saying that. Hey! I know you're probably in shock, but... You tell Liang Wei everything about what happened on the way over. In order to see Liang Wei for the very last time, she donned her armor that could never be taken off. She changed out of her original clothes, right? <sighs> There's no point in searching the body then. What is going on here? Why are you talking about her that way? Did she give you any secret boxes or letters? Oh, fucking bitch. Ah. Uh... Search? For what? You don't know? She left me with nothing. Was she playing me this whole time? What did she say she'd bring you, huh? The list of the names of the disciples of Sanctus Medicus. Oh, 
With that list, I'd be able to blackmail the disciples into giving me the elixir disciples. of immortality. Or I could submit the list to the Cloud Knights to avoid banishment from the Sien Cho. That woman promised me countless times. That woman? In the end, I finally trusted her. I genuinely thought she'd offer me change. But in the end, she failed at the most important hurdle. Or maybe she failed from the very beginning. She probably lied to you too. Is being immortal the most important thing to you? Of course not. I have more important matters in places other than the Sien Cho. Elixirs and immortality are just a means to an end. I won't stay on the Lofu. Mm. Yeah, me too, Bailu. Is this your sweetheart? <laughs> sweetheart? That was her wishful thinking. I wasn't interested in the slightest. No way. You thought so too? To be fair, mister, I, we were seeing her point of view this whole time. Heal. What? <sighs> she did make a promise, though. Let me heal you, so I never have to lay eyes on you again! <gasps> Bailu... <sighs> He's so angry! Huh? <sighs> Just shut up and let my Lady Bailu heal you. Then move away from Fancia, now! <laughs> Ridiculous. That woman tricked all of us. You should have told her to take up. Shut the fuck up. Shut your mouth! Violet healed the outwarder begrudgingly. Compared to being marastruck, his illness is but a common disease. After finishing the treatment, Hugh left Cloudford and asked the Cloud Knights to take care of the remains of the marastruck soldier. <sighs> we wouldn't have helped him if we'd known. That wouldn't do. I made a promise to Fancia. Yeah. I healed him. But for the next 30 years, he'll hiccup uncontrollably every day. Really? <laughs> uh, that's a bit petty, but I, I support it. <laughs> what? He deserved it. Yeah. It's perfect. <sighs> Anyway, do you know any good hiding places? I'm still on the run. Hmm. Have you heard of the Astro Express? Express? <laughs> What's that? Hmm. The Xianzhou is still in a mess. I better stay in Starskip Haven for the time being. I'm sure there'll be fevers and headaches to take care of before long. Bansia asked me if I like treating people. Like I said, it's as easy as eating and drinking for me. I don't like or dislike it. Yeah, I heard that. But this whole incident has made me wish I knew more about the Mara struck. Thank you. <laughs> Maybe meet again at the food stalls of Starskip Haven. Bye! Here. <sighs> okay, that... was a little depressing, not gonna lie. But... Managed to finish all three new companionship requests. Oh, good. Okay, let's see who we have here, okay? Oh, look at you! Hello. <laughs> Now that I've made it this far, the <laughs> Alchemy Commission and the Seed of Divine Foresight have no chance of catching me. Yep. Got you! Huh? Hmm... I know your voice. <laughs> it was you who invited me. Why you gotta scare me like that? Honestly. Hey! How about you tell me when the Express is departing? Oh, I gotta ask that the conductor over the there. conductor? You mean that cuddly-looking creature, right? The one that's shorter than me <laughs> if you don't cut the hat. 
Yeah. <sighs> Judging by how bored they look, my guess is you won't be leaving any time soon. Yeah. I don't want to give the Alchemy Commission time to discover my itinerary. That's all. Yeah. Now that I think of it, the Express really would make a good secret base. Yep. Anyway, thanks for the invitation. Hmm. I really like it here. Good to know. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> they better be, or I won't be coming back. <laughs> Aww. Uh, well, that was a great few quests. It's, it's really great. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, so we're done for Honkai Star Rail. Let's go to this screen. Okay, so... Okay. So, um... I... Because of how amusing the watches is, I think that's my favorite. Uh, because of the... You know, um, it involves Welt and March, um, it also involves them role-playing and shit. It's the most fun one. But this one really struck hard for, with Bailo. Um, the one with um, Yen Ching is full of action, so I can't really say much about it. It looks like it's not really beat since... well... Since um, he's somewhere and we didn't see him in person, and that's really sus. We don't know where he is, uh, so I hope he's safe. Okay. <sighs> Anyways, yeah, I. Um, I. I was a bit like cautious uh, of Bansha since. You know, we've experienced, uh, what's her name? Um, the blind girl before we became friends. She had some bitterness, but we still we were still friends. Um, but she ended up betraying us. So I was cautious around Bansha. But it turns out that she's not the one who I should be wary of. Damn it. Anyway. I I think there's lore um, written somewhere about the Marastrox. I think we'll find out soon enough in the um, story quest anyway. Um, but yeah, it looks like um, Bailu doesn't know much about either, so yeah. Okay, we finally met Jingliu. That's cool. She's really cool. I love her. Um, she's really mysterious, you know. And Yan Ching, uh, God bless his soul. I wish he's safe. Um, Bailu, I really love Bailu more because of this. She's a she's a girl of her word, and even though she's really angry, she still fulfilled the promise that she made. <laughs> and I love how petty she is with the hiccups thing. Um. As for Locha, we we didn't really meet Locha himself. A at least we know that he saved uh, two people and he was trying to save people from getting spoiled, but that's it. For now, we'll see. We'll see what he re really is up to in this uh, in Shinju Lofo. Anyway, so tomorrow, we're gonna chill with Genshin and I think I'm just gonna, you know... Just do the, um... Uh, the current, um, the current, <laughs> the current, uh, 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 event right now. <laughs> so yeah, well, I'm gonna do that. Okay, so, thank you so much for watching the stream. Thank you for being with me here today. Thank you for stopping by. And, uh, have a good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. And, uh, stay safe, take care of each other, and... Goodbye. Chill, chill, chill.